T. McCluskey presents Arcade Talk Live Stream. another arcade talk show coming at you we're on our thursday we're almost on a weekend we got a special guest on tonight so let's get the thing started and let's get papa brad in here let's roll it guys now <laughs> What is up, what is up, Papa Brad? What is up, Team McCloskey? Rocking. What's happening, man? Not much, man. Not much. At Games Pinball. (laughs) (laughs) Tropical Storm's almost out of here. Know that. That's good, man. You survived the storm? 
Yeah, I survived. Man, it's just been like a stressful week, though, man, because it's like every day you're like, it's coming, no, it's right coming. Man. You know, yeah, it's a, man. It didn't hit here until like yesterday. Um, we got some rain of, you know, other days too, but it's like, dang, just kept waiting. We didn't, we got lucky. We got um, a lot less rain than a lot of people did. Yeah, cool. You got about six to seven inches of rain. Where you know some people got over two foot of rain. So I know you got lucky. At least you didn't get any damage or anything. No, there's no damage. I walked around the house and no damage. Uh, there's a couple of tree limbs down. That's about it. Look, small ones. Mm -hmm. But crazy, crazy week, man. How's your week doing, man? Uh, I started back at school, so I've been busy, busy, busy. Two no. classes. I can't believe that already, man. I know. So I know. I know. It's great. I guess anything yeah. you're already back. Yeah, I'm kids loving it though. It's good to be back at it. So, kids didn't tie you up today <laughs> to the chair. Not today. Not today. Not today. You're running around. Hey, man, oh. I did a mod. I did a mod. My Frankenstein. I modded. He's got. Yeah. He's got. A, he's got lower powered lights, so now he looks good. It looks really good back there. You actually he can looks see. Good. Yeah, he really looks good in person too. So, uh, been having a great week. Having a great week. I've been busy, but I've been having a great week. And uh, yeah. probably make you tired, man. The uh, used of uh, getting up. So early. Oh yeah, I've got to get back back in the swing of things. Man, I'm excited. We've got a special guest this show. It's gonna be a fun one. We got a lot to yes, talk about, Team McCloskey. We got a lot to talk about. We gotta to try to keep it at two hours, Papa Rad. Two I hours. Know, I know, and, and unlike other YouTubers, I'm not gonna be flip-flopping. My opinion's gonna stay. I, my opinion stays too. No flip-flopping. So let's rock and roll, man. All right, let's bring in our uh, special guest video game Vegas. Mm -hmm. Welcome, welcome. Hey guys, how's it going? Nice. Good. How are you? I'm doing real good now that I'm here with you guys. We got that familiar voice, Video Game Vegas. Welcome to the show. <laughs> Thank yep. you guys for having me. Oh, yeah, we're no thrilled problem. to have you. No problem at all. So what's the first topic? <sighs> Mr. Pickles! <laughs> I can't hear it. You couldn't hear it very well, but... Wasn't the Mr. Pickles I was hoping for, but <laughs> uh. so how's your week going? BGV? It's going good. Sore, because uh, I'm on a new, well, a lower medication uh, to get me back uh, to the office. So it's a, uh, it's been kind of a, a a rough one, but I'm doing okay. I'm 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 in good spirits. Well, that's good. That's good to hear. Hey, uh, thanks, Dan Z. For the five dollars, thank you, thank you so much. I appreciate that. Thanks, Ro Roba McCluskey and Papa Brad. That's right. So, what do we want to start uh, out first doing here? We've got that new deck uh, that that game's brought out, showing that new starter pinball machine. I guess we yeah, start with that. yeah. You want to say hello to the chat real quick? We got a lot yeah. of people here tonight. Who we got in there, Pop Brad? Yeah, we got Dan Z. We got Jason Little Alien. We got Mikey Yoon. What's up, Mikey Yoon? Good to see you. We got Danny Johnson. We got Carl O. We got Dan Z. We got Mad Dog. We got Biggie Fries in the house. We got Carl O. I think I might have said Carl O. Danny Johnson's here. Randy Latori. Hobby Hands. We got the whole crew. We got E. Leo. We got Vader 640. We, we all know that name, T. McCloskey. He would be yes, at the top. Do. He would be at the top of the pinball tournaments. Good to see yeah. you, Vader. Much respect. Uh, of course, we got the, the legendary video game Vegas. Uh, check out his channel if you're not subscribed. We got Mad Dog. Good to see you, Mad Dog. Incognito, welcome to the show. Anyone call a doctor, T. McCloskey, because Doc Mario's here. We got Mario here. here. We got Obsidian Contraption here. Hey, hey, peeps. We got Goofy Foot. Uh, Dan Z says I'm wearing a legit shirt. Yeah, this is I styled this shirt after an old skateboard uh, video called uh, "Search for the Animal Chin." The hand, the writing, so it has that kind of like that fortune cookie writing. You know, I thought that was I always oh, thought that okay. was cool. So that's why I came up with the kind of like the fortune cookie looking legit. Uh, we got Brooklyn Menace in the house. Good to see you, Brooklyn. We got Carl in the house. Good to see you, Carl. Got the real creamer here, not the fake stuff. We got the real creamer, Patrick Granger. We got Evil Genius Entertainment. And if I missed your name, I'm you know I didn't do it on purpose. So if I accidentally missed you, it wasn't on purpose. But welcome to the show, everybody. And why? Why just popped in? 
Wish I was a rock star. Well, hey, welcome, uh, Mayo. Yep. Okay, so let's start the fireworks. Thanks, everybody, for uh, showing up tonight. We really appreciate it. So thank you, thank you. All right. Back at it with the Legends Factory Direct. We don't want to do it. No. That one's not here yet. Let's see. Why did they start out with that one? I got the wrong one. There's a premium starting one, I guess. Uh, that's the Factory Direct. Why did they do the Factory Direct one first? So this one, all this must be a Factory Direct one, huh? I guess I gotta go back to my uh, the first one they gave us. See, this is kind of nice, but let's, let's go to the one. Uh, I think it was on the last show. Yeah, I didn't realize that one you sent me was just Factory Direct. Yeah, that's the best deals. Those are the best deals they have right now. Well, that was the Factory Direct one, though. They didn't say anything about the what the hell, I man? Where's all my my stuffs? I think this one here is it. It's just all the way down to the bottom. Trying to scroll up. Yeah, and yeah, it was all the way at the bottom. There it is here. Legends Pinball Premium Starter, which really came out today, right? You can start ordering these today. August yeah, I believe 8th. so. I believe so. And then the factory direct, I think, starts next week. But uh can you make it a little smaller? It's like out of the frame. Is it? Yeah. I want to make sure people can read it. Okay, so that looks pretty good. That's there. better. Yeah, I can read that. Okay. Well, we got Doc Mario coming up the first comment. He said they should have started and ended with the base model, which then you can pick and choose which features you want, which is – that's what this kind of is. This is kind of a yeah. base model. Yeah, you know? the premium starter machine. I don't know why they call it premium starter, but – I'm going to explain it to you. I know why they call it premium starter, Team McCloskey. It was explained to me. Okay, the reason why they're all called premium is because all these can be upgraded to the same machine. So that's why they all say premium. Premium starter, um, you know, the premium deluxe is the one with the SSF kit with all the features. Yeah. And uh, premium standard is the one with um, everything enabled. So and the reason why they all call them premium is because you could take any one of these and change it to the most deluxe one. It has an open upgrade path to the highest model. Yeah, still don't like it, but I don't it like it weird. either. It is a little confusing, but at least I understand the thinking behind them all being named premium. Because at first I was like, you know, it kind of goes. I didn't understand it, but that's the way it was. You know, that's the way it was explained to me. Yeah, I just think they should just call her the starter machine then. <clears throat> like the starter, starter machine. yeah, the starter, the standard, and the deluxe. Yeah. The deluxe is having everything, including the SSF kit installed. But and then you had the collector's edition too, which is premium. Mm -hmm. Collector's edition premium, which is above, kind of above the deluxe one, because I don't know. Well, and, and yeah, because the collector's edition, they're only making so many of those. So okay, well, we could start with the base question. I mean, let's. You want to open up the panel? What do we think of having a base model at Games Pinball Machine? And you can chime in here, uh, Video Game Vegas. Yeah, Video Game Vegas, don't oh, be you. shy. You can give us your opinion. Yeah. All right. So I have zone. no problem. I have no problem with um, a starter edition. As you know, we've had so many conversations that uh, the options are great and everything else. Uh, the only problem I have is that um, each one of these machines are the same machines, minus mm -hmm. the SSF kit and the uh, topper. Now, when I say same machines, I'm saying hardware. I'm not talking software. Mm -hmm. So uh, the right. only thing that I, the, the only place that I, I saw them drop in the ball, and this is what really kind of made me kind of angry um, or frustrated. I'll say frustrated because okay. I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm done with the, the whole angry thing. <laughs> but, but basically, um, the reason I bought um, a 4KP was to um, to use it as a OTG machine. So basically buy a PC, plug it into it, and use it that way. Uh, now, I was happy, everything was content until they uh, announced this machine, which basically um, they opened kind of a can of worms by not just adjusting the hardware, but revealing that uh, the the they could actually 
do stuff to the hardware via a software update. Now, of course, right now it's it's tinfoil hat because nothing's happened except for the fact that, hey, we have this cheaper model and we're going to disable the um, the advanced features, which includes the ability to use the ports and the uh, the OTG. But here was my issue. So the uh, this has been done by companies before, and I've never agreed with it. Um, and I'm just going to give you one example for right now. Uh, the one example is BMW. And they, they sell this car, and they sell it with heated seats. But you cannot use the heated seats unless you pay them a subscription. So you what? have to pay them a monthly subscription Ugh. to be able to so use it. PlayStation. Four. <laughs> and, and that's exactly what, what what's happening here. Hey. You're buying the hardware. You're buying with even the cheaper model. You're buying uh -huh. the hardware, which is the ports. Uh -huh. But they're disabling them out of the box. Now, who's to say At Games is going to uh, not disable the ports on any of these machines at any point? And the and what I what I'm referencing is is something the team Klosky you said on the last show, which I thought was very poignant, and you said that. At games can pretty much disable anything that they want to at any time. And that's what was kind of scaring some of us in the chat at the time. And basically, the, that, that went into my head going, why am I going to spend a whole bunch of money on a decent PC if at any time at games can choose to disable the ports? Now, I'm not saying that they're going to because that's not even been put out there. But the thing is, is that having that ability and making that um, and putting that out there, that's what scares us. And mm -hmm. the big thing that was really kind of in my head, the dread was, let's say Zen comes by and they say, hey, listen, at games, we're spending a lot of R&D research and development, putting these tables on your machine. But your people are using this thing for OTG and we're not making or recouping any kind of money. You need to disable these ports and at games at any time can say, well, if we want to keep getting Zen tables, we have to do that. Now, all of this is speculation. It, it hasn't happened and, and it may mm -hmm. never happen. But that's the reason that I was kind of worried is because why would I spend money on a um, on a PC if the ports can be disabled? So that was my my big okay. thing. Um, Okay, can Sorry, I give a counterpoint? Good. Okay, I want to give a counterpoint. I want to give a counterpoint. The the first thing I would like to say is congratulations, Video Game Vegas. You are truly an advanced user because all of us running OTG, we love running OTG. We see the benefits of using that, of course. Um, the first thing I'd like to say is the first thing they did was they enabled OTG for everyone that had already had a pinball machine. So at games, basically, if they took away OTG or some of the functionality for the base users. I mean, they're, that'd be like them slitting their own throat. They're not going to do that. And it was I, don't, not. I don't, I don't think, I don't think have the, you know, Zen has the power over ad games to make them do that to themselves. But the other thing and, I'll, I'll say, I want to say they immediately gave everyone the OTG and it does not need to be connected to the internet. So it'll like, if you disconnected, if they, if they were gone tomorrow, the OTG function will still function. With all the, you know, with the, what you're playing right now. Right. So That's I thought what I'm holding. that was a good call. <laughs> but yeah, but, I mean, Vegas makes go a good ahead, point. Dude. Yeah, mm -hmm. I just say Vegas makes a good point. But um, like you said, man, if they, they start cutting off more ports, man, they people would just be up in arms and would. Oh, uh, they would go, they would go buck wild. And they, yeah, and they, they wouldn't buy, buy another At Games product ever again. The but yeah, I mean, would be in the streets with their pitchforks, Team McCloskey. <laughs> and the thing I mean, is, least... yeah, us it's... advanced users are the most talkative because we love it, man. We love it. You know, we're, we're playing the stock table, some of us, but we're also playing through OTG. And that's only limited by your computer. I mean, I just got a brand new computer, $1,500 computer with the state-of-the-art graphics card. I can run all these tables at 4K. It's absolutely jaw-dropping, Team McCloskey. That's so, awesome. I mean, the power is there, you know, and basically I'm getting, you know, I'm happy. I'm really happy with what I have, but you're right. There is that fear that they could take that away, you know, but I mean, it is a trust thing. I mean, you know, I just can't see them doing that. I mean, that would, yeah. that would like be so destructive. Uh, 
and I don't think that's their model. What do you think, T? Well, it, it, I mean, yeah, I mean, at least it's only a one-time fee. I mean, it's like, you know, with your PlayStation 4 and 5, you got to pay, you know, the use online, play games online with people. You got to pay 10 bucks a month, $60 a, a year. Month. You know, yeah. it's, it's just continuous. So at least this is this one-time fee. I don't really agree with it either. Yeah. But and if what I understand, actually, I have another thing to say about it. Once it's enabled, it's permanently enabled on the machine. Right. So like, no one can take it away. Once you activate it, can't it's not deactivated. And okay. but the other thing I wanted to say is like, you know, they wanted to have that feature so there was an open upgrade path. And the other thing I want to say is buy they also don't want to devalue what all of us bought. Like we all bought the deluxe model with the topper, with the advanced features, with, with all the extra features enabled. Even if we got the middle level, we bought the, we bought the machine that was a deluxe model. I mean, when they built the machine, they were like, they were listing like, what things do you want? Oh, we will put a topper on it. You know, Oh, you don't want an arcade marquee on it anymore. We're going to get rid of that. We're going to make it look more like a real pinball machine. So they took all that feedback. The problem with that is they went from being a, a more affordable product to being a more enthusiast product. Because let's face it, $1,500 base model is not cheap, you know? And so I just no. think they're trying, they're trying to get back some of the market they lost. They're trying to get people affordable pinball where they can decide and choose a la carte which, op which options they want to add. That's just yeah. my opinion on what they've done. Yeah, Papa Bread. Um, uh, th that's that's one of the things I wanted to bring up too. Is um, uh, At Games had a really huge success with the Vibs board, which allowed you to do the OTG and stuff that's like right. that. Mm -hmm. And uh, and what what I wouldn't have had a problem with is if this new lower end model came without HDMI ports and USB ports, and then came with a module with them where you could just plug and play. So it doesn't, basically they're not showing, oh yeah, well we can disable or enable these features with mm -hmm. software. They do something like that, take those physical things out, reduce the price even more to something like sub 1000, like about 899 bucks, because it doesn't have all this extra hardware mm -hmm. in it. And then, um, the, and something like that. Now, of course, I'm armchair quarterbacking uh, on this. The, the reason that, that it scared me more than anything is because um, the trust with that games that I have is very low. And the reason being is not because I have anything against that games. What I have a problem with is um, the, the, the different things they've done to me may, or, or to the community. Um, one, uh, and I'm going to give you two examples, and this is the, the reason that I was so, um, I, I, I'm kind of skeptical on where their direction is. Um, and of course, I could be totally wrong. Um, but the first one was a piece of hardware I bought from them. Um, it was called the Namco Blast. And on the box, it showed arcade ROMs. And you could plug this thing into an HDMI port onto a TV. I plug it in. And it has NES ROMs, NES ROMs, and I was like, "What yeah. the heck is going on here?" And I remember and they had they had yeah. some uh, they had some YouTubers that got the ones with the I think John Hancock or someone got the ones with the arcade ROMs. Yeah, yeah. I, I was like, it, it, it was just crazy. It's, oh yeah, it, that. that that was the first the first thing that was really big against me. And the but other one was I'm going to say this about that. I'm, I'm going to say sorry, this about this. They did start with like, like the kind of like the less expensive gaming uh, things like that. But they've come a long way since that. Like that was their origin. You're right. I remember. Didn't they do like a Genesis that was notoriously um, panned? Bad. Oh yeah. 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 Um, you know. It was terrible. And, you know. I think when they came with the Legends products is when they started to be like, oh wait a minute, they could actually be a factor for people that want to just have a home arcade experience. You know. Yes. And yes. So, and, 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 and you're and right. Carlo... They started with those those early models. They, some of them were not so hot. You know, okay. Yeah, Carlo is basically um, he made a point. He says, "What does that have to do with AOP? It has to do with Act Games. Mm -hmm. It has to do with Act Games um, false advertising as a company." And here's the other thing, and this is another piece of false advertising, and this has to do with the 4KP. So, if you remember, and and you guys advertised this, is that um, what happened uh, with the Gottlieb tables when they first were going to be put onto the 4KP? They were delayed. 
And so what Act Games did for the people who bought the um, the 4KP ta- uh, the 4KP versions is they to apologize or to to soften the blow was that they they emailed me four um, uh, five dollar coupons that I could stack whatever to buy anything and, and this is what the email said anything in their online store that wasn't on sale. So I go into the online store and I'm going to buy um, a Zen table, which was $15. Yeah, and I, I went in there work. and, and, and it wouldn't let me. Money's do no it. good. Your money's no good. Yep. What happened to your no. money? Your money's no good anymore. Yes. You don't want your thing. They, they, they took it away from you. You were like ready. Yes. You're like, hey, hey, look, I'm going to get this. I have this money saved <laughs> up. I'm going to get this Zen table for free. And you go to redeem yep. it and they won't. Yeah. I totally yep. do not like that. Yeah. Um, yeah I'm not and, sure why that ever happened. But to me, that devalues when you get a coupon that devalues the coupon. Yeah, and 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 that's Meaning, the whole thing. People with, want with, the Zen tables. Yeah, you know? and and what happened We're is safe. I reached it, mm-hmm. and I reached out to to Act Games and I asked them. I said, "Hey, um, what's what's going on? I I can't use this," and they sent me a gaslighting email, and it was really just poor taste and just really bad customer service. And they said, "Well, you can't use these on the Zen tables." And I said, well, um, it says I can. And they said, well, our email is right and yours is right at the same time. And I was like, what? <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. So, but the 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 end game was we gave you coupons you said you could use on anything and now we're not going to let you do it. So it's just these little things that happen um, that that cause these the, this trust issue. So I agree. The, and, and I, yeah. I think that should never be like, like if you're going to give us a coupon for the store, let it be for the store. You know, I mean, what is, is it, you know, I don't understand like with the loss on a $5 coupon on a $35 pinball pack or whatever really cost you that much, you know, I mean, the it's idea is, I mean, you really want to keep your customers happy. And I agree. That's a bad customer experience. When you have a yeah, coupon I, and you go to use it and you can't redeem it, that's very as as a consumer, that's very that's very frustrating. Yeah, yeah I still I got get, my freaking coupons. I still have them in my email because I can't use them on anything yeah. I want. Yeah, and I get where where Carl O's coming from. He definitely doesn't like I Arcade, and he's always been kind of angry that I have. But I call him like I see him. I mean, if John did something wrong to me or I Arcade did, I would be as I would be just as easily to go after IRK. Yeah, but I went, to, be, to, be, to be fair, you have went after IRK. Like you talked about how crappy your monitor is, is and one that, machine. Yeah. You've been very yeah. fair and unbiased. And, uh, and that's exactly what it is. I mean, like with the gold cabinet, I gave that a four out of 10. I and I said, did. people shouldn't buy it. And so, so um, I get that, that, um, that, that, uh, Carlo wow, really loves <laughs> the act games, but, but I mean, I'm, I'm fair on every single thing that I've, um, I've yeah, said you, out you, there you and, call and, it, you call it and I hate, fair. and I hate to, because I'll tell you what, I really have a lot of respect for Carlo. I, I, uh-huh. I've had some, some fun conversations with him, um, on my channel. And so, uh-huh. but I hope that there's no hard feelings. I just have to call it like I see it and, and give my, um, uh, feelings on the situation. But, mm-hmm. uh, I really do appreciate, um, you, Papa Brad, and T. McCloskey, um, being able to have the conversation about this because um, we, we we can at least put it out there, you know, yeah, and and, yeah. and show yeah, all yeah. the views. Yeah, yeah, I'd rather show all, I'd rather show all the opinions, you know, because you know yeah. if you just have a bunch of people that are just cheerleaders, <laughs> I mean, you got to have someone that's gonna, you know, I think it's more interesting as a viewer watching YouTube. I mean, I don't like shows where everyone has the exact same opinion all the time. It's just yeah. not interesting to watch, right? So well, um, it's like last week, man, I was surprised. I mean, Video Game Vegas, you're not the only one that had that opinion. There's a lot of people in the chat um, yeah. had that opinion. I was just like, wow. <laughs> I didn't realize people, that many people uh, were upset, upset upset about that. So The, the only thing that, that I wanted to bring up that I've never heard anyone mention about the whole starter program, too, is that it part of it is also not to devalue what you already have. Like, have you ever bought something? Like some YouTubers were like, well, they should just sell the whole machine the, the exactly the way it is for a thousand dollars. Well, then all <laughs> of our machines that we bought, everyone that has a machine, you just lost five hundred dollars of pos- of value overnight. I overnight. I, I mean, and that's a terrible experience. Like when you yeah. buy something and then, like, you know, not even a year later, it's like five hundred dollars less value. 
And, you know, I don't buy these things to resell them. I mean, I buy these machines to play them. But my point is, I, I'm not a fan of that. I kind of like the new wave toys model where they, they make a certain yes. amount, they limit it, and then they make something else cool. And then they make something yep. else cool down the road. You know, that's how I think you build a really strong brand. Because each time you do that, you're building more, um, people are more excited for what's next, you know? Yeah. Yeah, I, I wish Skagging would limit the, these machines a little bit more than they did. You know, 5,000 yes, is a lot. I agree. Yeah. Machines. I, I think they should have caught, topped it off at like 1,000 and just kept bringing out new ones. Oh, I, and the price model so high, like 5000 at, you know, even $1,000 each, you know, that's a lot of money. And, and one thing yeah. I would like to say about that, too, and you guys are absolutely right. The one and I'm going to say something real nice about at games here. Because I've been in the um, the the um, the market for something like this, where I can basically put a PC on it and play. And if you know anything about the um, the the boutique market versus the build your own market, at games with their price here, even at fifteen hundred dollars, is a freaking steal. It's, it's, it's a it's steal. Like, it's so cheap for what you get. It is it's awesome. like. You know, yeah. I mean, I, I went to Southern Great Fried price. Gaming Expo. I was playing like a five thousand dollar V pin, and like you know, I was pretty happy with my at games, even though that machine was so much more. You know, but I mean, I there, there are things that you can get at the ultra ultra high end. But I'm saying oh, the man. at games is pretty strong. And then oh, when it's you, an when awesome you, price when you OTG it with a good computer. It's just a great pinball experience. You know, it's fun to play. But and you can't get anything in this there. price either. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. There is nothing out there that is this price. And so even though I have my trepidation, At Games nailed it. They they knocked it out of the park with the price because uh, I mean 1500 bucks, that's that's an absolute bargain. I don't think people really understand that if they look at what's out there and what they would have to do to build their own and the boutiques charging almost the same price as a Stern or more. Yeah. Twelve hundred dollar to your door in one month is an amazing deal, depending on how interested you are in virtual pinball. The one thing I do like, and I was impressed by, like right off the bat when it was kind of when I, when I first heard about this, was they did provide an open upgrade path to the highest level model they make from the entry level. And like you were wondering, like why don't they make it cheaper? Because the barrier to doing OTG always was like you know a lot of people were for and. You did it, Video Game Vegas, but a lot of people are afraid to put that Vibs board in. You know, you had to deal with those ribbon cables. It was a real pain. Like this, this oh, setup yeah. they have with this, you literally just plug in the cords, and then it's yeah. dealing with your computer to configure it. But yeah. oh, as and far I didn't as hooking the hardware up, You're it's right. easier than ever. And I think going back to something like an add-on Vibs board and making it cheaper would just discourage more people from making the final jump. I think yeah, well, yeah, the final cool. jump, when you go to OTG, some people say there's no coming back because you can get, it's depending Everything. on your computer. It can be, yeah. you know, like I could play the entire the library. I have every table right now I can play. You know. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, and and actually, I should clarify, Papa Bread. Um, mm -hmm. What I was talking about was plug and play modules. So mm -hmm. basically, it would be three HDMI's, but you would just plug it in like a cartridge. Yeah, and and same with in. HDMI, oh, yeah. plug yeah. it in like a cartridge, and that's what I was saying is basically that's the next evolution. But now they don't have to do that, of course, and it it worries me. But still. I'm I'm still going to keep optimistic because if if, if um, these are all speculations, it's just basically the fears that I was putting out there that a lot of us in the chat last week were were saying, hey, this is what we feel. If At Games yeah, doesn't do anything, hurt. yeah, if At Games doesn't do anything and disables anything, I'm going to be a happy camper. I'm just trepidatious because of my my history with the company. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Mike Yoon, it's it is a hundred dollars each. Um, yeah, for the advanced features. So if you just yeah, want to do OTG, the Wave One has a buy one, one get one. Like if you get the Wave yeah. One, you're gonna get a you're gonna get a coupon when you activate the first update. You'll be able to buy both for a hundred bucks. So you know it's buy basically fifty percent off. So you know instead of paying a hundred dollars each, you'd pay basically fifty dollars for the OTG and the. Uh, advanced features 
The go, advanced there. features to me really haven't came into play yet, but down the road, that's what VPX will be running through the standalone. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. It, it, right now it's not so much a factor, like you're really not missing much, but possibly down the road when they get a final build of a VPX build out to the community, that could be something you would want, but they're not restricting you from it. You know, just make it, if you want it, you have to enable it on this one model. If you get this, if you get the starter model. I was hearing that that um, the the first run of these and and correct me if I'm wrong, uh, the and and maybe it's because of the shipping or whatever. But aren't they having a deal right now where you can get one for a thousand ninety nine? Yes. Yeah, that's the okay. factory correct. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's I thought, wow, that's basically a great deal. cuts that's out the I middle got. the middle stop. Yeah, it's the same yeah. deal we got, but they're just yeah. not getting all the features like they're, yeah. the yeah. You know, always the Wave One with that games for some reason they always seem to get the best deal. This is a new machine. The Wave One is they even show how they're scaling the deals, but the Wave One, if you really want the best deal, that is the best deal they're going to have for a while. Yeah. Just like the way we were wave one. And I hate, I hate doing FOMO videos, but I mean, I don't want my viewers to miss out. Like if you were on the fence of getting at games pinball, this is not a bad way. If you're new to at games pinball, this is not a bad way to jump in. And I didn't want my viewers not to know about it, but I don't usually like to do these kind of videos where I talk about this kind of uh, thing. Well, if you think about the history, Papa Brad, and, and same with uh, new wave toys um, and numbskull, the P, those those deals they 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 don't come again you know i mean they yeah. they and and i don't do the fomo either but you have to look at the history of the thing when i bought my first at games control panel for my hd um it was 50 dollars i know 50 dollars i know it's like, and, that's yeah, about. come on <laughs> You know, so so that I always but the thing is that also you have to think quality also. Um, and at the time, uh, uh, especially with the, the control panel, uh, I just thought it was incredible quality. And so I'm glad that I got that. Yeah. Yeah. The control panel is nice. It's a nice up upgrade. Um, you know, if you're going to once again, that's where that advanced feature yeah. stuff comes in. Then you can play, you know, you can play some arcade games on there. You, you can do a little bit with it. And uh, but. I think having an open upgrade path was a good choice. And yep. I think a lot of people went very negative on this when really all they're trying to do is get where more people can get into virtual pinball and they can decide what they want to do with it down the road. You know, I, th yeah, I think. I, yeah. Just the, the open upgrade. I just wish they didn't touch the advanced features. That's all. Yeah. Uh, but the thing is, is that I am not the head of act games. I don't do the, um, the the market research or anything. I'm more armchair quarterbacking. I can only um, tell, to basically say, "Hey, listen, this is how it makes me feel." Uh, but yeah, I think that if they, I think a lot a lot of people wouldn't have been as up in arms if it was just the hardware stuff, like um, or the table stuff, because everybody can have a, an opportunity to buy any of the tables on their online store, and the topper. Some people just don't care about that. But then, of course, where do you come with the if, if you want to lower it a certain way? So, yeah, it's it's a touchy subject. And um, the good news is, is that I think that that there is a market for the lower price one. I just wish they could have done it in a different way. And that is a valid option that, you know, it's a valid concern you have about them having Zen and people OTGing a lot of Zen pinball on at games yeah. would they ever would they ever block zen pinball and i just don't see them doing that because i mean it's really the enthusiast market that goes that far into it you know what i mean i i i you know i don't know what the percentages are but i think a lot of people buy this machine and they play the stock tables and they're just happy with them i mean and i would have been happy with them if they didn't have the lag and that was well it's funny papa papa brad i, I have I heard, heard i have heard i have heard i have heard there's a serious team up going on with both magic pixel is working with zen both companies oh, now that's awesome that's what, we, what we've been wanting and i have heard that yeah. in partnership they're working oh, 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 on oh yeah and that's awesome. if you if you watch tampa tech's video he kind of let it slip that they might even have a fix already but they're just still oh, they're still wow. perfecting it did you watch the Tampa Tech video where he showed the natural history pack tables? Because he kind of he kind of passively said it without saying it. Really? See, yeah, that, yeah. And, 
and yeah. and that's the the thing that I was feeling bad about people is because I didn't buy to to play the ecosystem, mm -hmm. but if I did to buy to play the ecosystem, I'd feel bad right now because of the the lag on the tables. But but I should be very very clear, and you guys know this, and maybe some in the community know this. I haven't even built my 4KP yet. Mm -hmm. It's it's in the box because of the Still fact the I, I've 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 had um, a personal the, the injury that happened to me. And so I haven't been able to build it myself. Um, but uh, OTG, I really didn't worry about because it's like I'm not missing out on anything because I don't even have the PC yet. So so but I definitely wanted to get on in on that deal because I couldn't believe how how awesome that that first pre order was. And all I wanted was the hardware. So, yeah. Yeah. Wave one. The one we got in was pretty awesome. Yeah, well, well, you know, phone a friend, get a friend to come over and build that mug for you. You'll be loving it. I know. You'll be loving it. We'd love to see. On I don't have those friends. <laughs> Heck, if, if I lived in Vegas, I'd, I'd build it for you. And literally, it's oh, not I, that hard. It's huh. just it's heavy. It's heavy is the hard part. Yeah, it's heavy. It's not, it's not a hard build. It's just heavy. Yeah. Oh, and I revealed to uh, T. McCloskey, and I will to you too, Papa Bread. Uh, I actually don't live in Vegas. Oh, okay. I live in Colorado. Wow. <laughs> yeah, video game Vegas. The 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 the, the, the idea oh. behind that is is um, two things that I loved: Vegas and video games. So that's how okay. it came out. That's yeah. cool. I always thought you were from Vegas. I know it. <laughs> Probably everyone do does it. when they when they hear the name. You know, they're like, "He must live in Las Vegas." You know. <laughs> but uh, anyway, yeah, Vegas. I did enjoy your video where you do your arcade tour. You have a really awesome arcade and. You know, that's what I got into this for, this whole hobby. It's just to play games. I love arcade games. It's great. You know, I would have never thought I would be able to have a home arcade with the kind of games that I have, the pinball, the real arcade, the machines that emulate real arcade <clears throat> games so well. I never would have dreamed I would have access to so many games that I have like I do today. I know, right? I know. It is crazy. And we all get to share with each other, which is just fantastic. Yeah. Yeah, and when you're a kid, you never thought this was coming. No, never. I mean, he never, never. He had to go to the arcades and put the quarters in. It's like, man, I wish I had one of these at home. Now, now you can. Team oh, Klosky, no. now we got we got them all. Yeah, we got them all. Yeah, and I, I've just been having a blast with this 4K P pinball. This is my first virtual. And it, you know, that, that's why I knew. Um, I uh, was researching uh, virtual pinball machines for over a year. And the prices, man, they were just, I just couldn't afford anything, you know, and I was going to get the HD version. And then last February, they announced 4K. I'm like, oh, I might as well wait. Oh, months. yeah, 4K all the way. Yeah. But, man, the prices out there, I mean, it's just ridiculous for a virtual pinball. I mean, they're almost as expensive as a real one. So when yeah, that I, game came out with this, I was pretty happy. Yeah, I started with the Toy Shock. And then I went to oh, yeah. um, the, the, the uh, arcade one-up uh, Attack from Mars. And then I went to uh, At Games uh, HD, and now I have the 4KP. So I really love virtual pinball, and I'm hoping that the 4KP is the magic bullet that I've been looking for all this time. I, I think it will be. I mean, especially if you're going to do the OTG, it's it's it's, it's so smooth and seamless. I mean, there's a couple of things you got to do on your computer now, and uh, that's it, man. You're up and running. So and yeah. the sky's the limit. It depends on your computer. I mean, the sky's the limit. I mean, yeah, this new computer is just it's unreal. Yeah, and I'm I'm looking. Um, it, I think my first uh, actually I, I switched. I switched video game Vegas when I with this new computer. I actually switched from playing on my PlayStation Four because I could always score higher in pinball tournament play to using my actual pinball cabinet because now I can score higher on my pinball cabinet. Yes. With this new and that's insane because yeah. like there is like no i mean like with a console you know you have state-of-the-art graphics and almost i mean it's everything is optimized for playing games you know so yeah. they really they really have closed the gap and like i can see in my pinball scores playing these tournaments each week the i mean it's an it's really great i mean this and the otg works great that's something also people don't ever mention you know Pretty much, they got the OTG down from the get go, and it was running good. And now it's just right, getting yeah. they've perfected it a little bit even more. But it had pretty good OTG even at launch. You know, better oh, than better than the Zen Pinball. You know, yeah, better yeah. than well, better than Peanuts. Uh, but uh, you know, there were well, some things. You know, it, 
if it wasn't for Wagner's Tech Talk, who I have a, a, a big um, uh, respect for, we've I've gained got a lot of respect and trust for him over the years. If he did not demonstrate how good OTG was before they even came up with the final design, I would have never pre-ordered. And I'm glad that uh, Wagner uh, was able to show that and At Games mm-hmm. was able to allow him to show that because that was what really sold me because I wanted the OTG. Yeah, and I think I think there is an enthusiast culture, like the people that invested in OTG that have that that really kick-ass computer you need, that figured out how to get the OTG running. I mean, they are kind of be they're going to kind of be snobs because it is a very premium experience, you know. And um, but I mean, I think you know there's something for everyone, which I like, you know. Yeah, and that's not, yeah. that's how I got my OTG working, watching the Wagner's Tech Talk video. You know, because when we first had to do, we had to re, you know do that mapping thing. Yeah, which, it's easier now. You don't even have to do yeah, that anymore. You don't even have to do now, that now. Now it just thinks it's a keyboard. You just tell it which buttons, which you know, just touch the keys, and mm-hmm. uh, you're off to the races. Couldn't be easier. Yep. I'm getting a lot of love in the chat, and I really appreciate uh, uh, that uh, people wanted to subscribe to my channel. It's 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 very nice. Thank you, Carl O, for putting out. Uh, that uh, that link. Uh, I'm 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 actually one of those people that uh, I I do YouTube a little differently. Um, I I never thought I would actually have subscribers. I I my main goal was to have that one view, just one mm. person watching my my video, and uh, and I mainly started putting out content because uh, YouTube started to delete my comments. Um, mm-hmm. And it wasn't um, somebody actually deleting them. It's an algorithm that they run um, to, uh, but it was catching my comments, which were always uh, fine. Uh, so, yeah. and it's random. So it was really nice to uh, get into the community and be able to share and stuff. And, and, and I've just seen a lot of love from a lot of people uh, uh, coming to the channel and just taking a view. Uh, and because that's what motivates me is that just that one view and uh, all the rest is gravy. So, so uh, definitely thank you all for, uh, for the real nice kind words uh, in the chat and everything and, and, and uh, enjoying the content. Yeah, you get some good content over there. I even watched your uh, last video talking about Vegas not being so good anymore. <laughs> that one's going crazy. I had a lot of, uh, uh, yeah, I mean, it's, it's actually, uh, almost becoming my number one video now. I, I, I've, wow. I've been flabbergasted. I didn't think many people would watch it cause I, uh, do the video game stuff, but, but yeah, it's, I have people who are in the, the Las Vegas community and some have been pretty, uh, vocal <laughs> against my <laughs> views on, on Las Vegas, but you know what? It's all about, uh, uh sharing opinions. And, yeah. and as I always yeah. say in, in, in my videos, it's like, uh, you, I always want people to have a right to their opinion, uh, mm-hmm. but only I can have a right to mine. <laughs> I think. That's so, right. That's so, right. Yeah. It's a good yeah. argument. Yeah. And I just want I just want to be able to share opinions. And even tonight, being able to have differing opinions and still show that respect and and love for the community that 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 you guys show every single week and being able to have these discussions and still be friends and friendly and all that. That just means the world to me. Well, absolutely. Well, we're lucky to have you on. So, yeah, so it's Thank been you. a good talk. I mean, I'm enjoying this, so. You know, people have their opinions and, uh, you know, we all should be able to express our opinions. You know, because they are just our opinions, you know. Yeah. And and that's what I've always appreciated about you guys' show. It was interesting when I first came to um, to, to, to Arcade Talk. I, I didn't really I, – I, oh, let's go to Sucker first and then I'll finish. I, I can dig it, Sucker. <laughs> We got five of them. <laughs> Thank you, Jason, for that five memberships. <laughs> okay. Hey, there's Adam. Ray's brother. Got a membership there. Thanks, uh, Jason, for those five memberships. We appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Well, I'll just say that um, I most of the channels that I come across uh, uh, with in this community, uh, I, I never really know if I'm going to um, connect 
but there was something uh, uh, especially about you and Papa Brad having conversations, especially in the I arcade um, talks and everything where you were being able to, to just have these civil conversations about just things that you loved. And that really kind of drew me. And I was like, I, I, I don't know if this is really resonating, but I'm going to stick around and I'll tell you what, I'm so happy that I did. And, and I'm so glad that I found both of you guys' channels. It's just been wonderful. Well, thanks. Thank uh, we, we appreciate you uh, being in the chat every week. It means a lot. So, but yeah, I always want to give people's opinions. Um, we got always, we, and, and we're never always going to agree, you know, sometimes we will, but sometimes we won't. So it's good to have that conversation and, and get our, all of our points out there because there's yeah. always two sides. So, so what do we got next team McCloskey? Uh, did you want to talk about this co calendar a little bit for the wave ones? So I, I did just want to talk about the deals that you get for wave one, two, and three. Now the wave one orders have started today. So, um, yeah, today. So if you want to get a wave one, I wouldn't wait too long. And I don't think the quantity is as high as people think. So the wave one will go through pretty quick. So if, if you really want a wave one deal, you're probably going to have to, you know, I, I can't tell how long it's going to last, but I, I know it's not, you know, it's not a ton of machines that they have for wave one. No, and it's, well, either way, it's going to end next, mm -hmm. next Wednesday. If it makes next it that Wednesday, far. if it makes it that far. Yeah. And that's the, the 1249 scroll, scroll, one. scroll down to where it shows you what you actually get on the three, on the three different deals. They have a page. If you scroll, they have a page that shows you exactly what you get with each deal. I don't think it's on this one. I think it's on the it's, other one. It's not on that one. Is it? Okay. See, the other one is just, it's it, no, it's scaled. Cause, cause the factory direct yep. one is the best deal. And it's scale where if you get the wave one, you get the best coupons. Right. Yeah, I did show that on mm -hmm. one page. This one page had a summary on it. I'll show that while I'm pulling up the other one. But down here is your uh, deals that you're getting. Um, I'm going to pull this over see if I can find it. <clears throat> so you get 35% off on pinball packs, too, if you want to buy pinball packs. Yeah. Here Plus, you get two months of arcade net. That's the slide I'm looking for right there. Yeah. That shows you, like, if I wait to wave two, how good of a deal do I get? If I wait to wave three, how good of a deal do I get? And this kind of follows, like, the way they've – it seems like the, the last couple it's the times. They always do it, yeah. It's the way they've always done it. I mean, the wave one is by far the best deal, um, you know. And this one – one only thing they left off on this one is that buy one, get one for the – Yeah, um, the – for the advanced features. Now, the way I understand it is that activates after you do your first firmware update. Yes. So when you update to the current firmware, that's when your coupons get activated for buying the games, I think, and for the, uh, I don't know if it's for the games, but definitely for the uh, advanced features. I think it might be for the games too, because you know, I think it's for the games too, actually. Because there are some games that we could not play. Until but I mean, 35% firmware. off is great. And here's the thing I like they give you the pinball net. Right off the rip, you get two months, and that pretty much unlocks like 144 tables. And you know, I don't know. I, I'm a sucker for a lot of these tables they have because I've been playing them since the HD pinball, and I still love them on the 4K device. And you know, you got all the good ones, all the all the all the ones that you know, all the classics are in there. You got the Gottlieb tables, you know, the real pinball tables like Haunted House. Um, I mean, Wipeout. We just did the Wipeout tour. Have you been enjoying the Flipper Friends? I know you've been playing T with me. I see your name yeah. on the leaderboards, T. I see you in there. And we had PK in the comments here. Hey, we have PK in the chat. Welcome to the chat, welcome. PK. Welcome, welcome. Yeah, I've been enjoying the Flipper Friends. Uh, mm -hmm. um, I've actually been doing not too bad on those. I haven't looked on the, yeah. the recent ones. That, I've been in the in top the 50 in every table they've done so far. They'll, eventually, there's going to be one where I can't do it. But so far, I've been in that top 50 list every every single time. You got to be and in the top 50, right, to get the prizes. You got to be, yeah, to be on there, to be in that, yeah. that list. But, you know, I, I enjoy the competition, you know. It's just getting to see, you know, you know, in the playing over the over the week and seeing your score raise and, you know, 
watching some people that are better than you, like Tomato Grass did some streams. I, I like all that stuff, you know. That's how you get I better, T. McCloskey. You got to swim with the sharks. I had yep, a quick question, did. guys, mm -hmm. if, if if you don't mind. Um, the, mm -hmm. This is just something that me and T. McCloskey talked about a long, long time ago. Um, but have you heard anything new about the um, being able to tie your uh, table purchases uh, directly to your machine on the 4K P like you can on the HD? I'm not sure. I haven't heard anything about that. Um, okay. What was, what was it? Like to tie your pinball machines to the cabinet like you can with the HD cabinet. Uh, no, you can't right now. I don't think so. You can't right now? Oh, okay. No. Okay. I'm hoping yeah, they I open just, that up. I yeah. hope they open it up in the future, but no, right now it's just um, it's just to account, not the cabinet. Oh, I appreciate the update, definitely. Yeah, that's something that I'm looking forward to. Yeah, and I think this is, you know, tough time for all of us. We're figuring out ways to invite more families to join and enjoy the community. And that's, you know, more people playing virtual pinball for us all. I mean, whether we realize it or not, you know, it's more people in the tournaments, you know. It, and, you know, I think that, it, you know, virtual pinball can bring people into playing real pinball evening. So I, I think it's great, you know. I think it's a good move that Act Games is doing. Pinball is the first um, uh, actual machine that I played when I was a little kid. Um, it was uh, before video games, anything. And so it uh, definitely holds a big place in my heart. And the reason that I own uh, four virtual pinball machines, or at least bought four virtual pinball wow. machines. Wow, you got like a row yeah. of virtual pinballs. That's awesome. <laughs> yeah, I remember, I remember Haunted House being a little kid, going in the arcade and playing – I could play Miss Pac-Man, Frogger, or Haunted House Pinball. I put, I put, I put that, and it was expensive. I want to say it was either fifty cents or a dollar to play the Haunted House Pinball. I played it. At la I lasted as a kid. I lasted like maybe two <laughs> minutes. It was like three balls straight down the middle, you know. And I was like, I'm gonna go play some Miss Pac-Man, you know. That's that's the table that that invigorated me back into pinball, Papa Brad. Uh, the, I love Haunted the, House. Yeah, it was. I was always playing video games. Yeah, I fun. forgot about pinball mm -hmm. forever. Then yeah. Haunted House came out, and boom, Pinball that City was, again. That was a uh, God Leaves answer to arcade games. They were like, how are we going <laughs> to make a pinball machine to compete with arcade games? Because Pinball was falling off, right? And so <laughs> they came up with the multiple play fields, you know, with the Black Hole and Haunted House. And those games came, were right up beside, uh, you know, Miss Pac-Man and Galaga. And they were pretty cool. They're still cool. They're probably hard to keep running. I think this virtual pinball is a lot easier to keep running. Oh, I love real it. Haunted House. Virtual but, pinball is uh, where it is. I mean, right. you know, for me, at least. A, a ton of tables on one machine is really a great experience for someone that just, if you just want to play, you just want to enjoy playing that pinball and like, and you like the feel of pinball. I think it's a great experience. You know, I think a lot of people, I think if more people were exposed to it, it would grow a lot even more. I and mean, virtual pinball, a lot of people are like, oh, you're playing pinball with screens. I'm like, yeah, you know, it's like, it's different. Oh, yeah. you know? People don't know, people don't know about it. They only know real pinball. So, I mean, I think it, it has a lot of room to grow. Yeah. In yeah. my opinion, as a, as a hobby and as, as, you know, just a video game segment, you know. See you, PK. Yeah. Have a good night. Yeah, virtual pinball is, uh, I mean, when I was a little kid, uh, I would get these, mechanical pinball machines they were very small and uh you could put them on your lap and i just loved them and they would break uh that that same day when i get them for christmas it's like i play them so much and then when virtual pinball finally came out i was so fascinated but could never afford it and then of course toy shock came out and i went buck wild and i <laughs> and and unfortunately it wasn't the um the thing it wasn't until the hd um the act games yeah. hd where I could actually get a decent um, play with the no flipper leg, or at least very small, where I didn't uh, notice it. And because even though uh, I love the form factor of the arcade one up attack from Mars, the problem is, is that if it's playing at 60 frames per second, it's skipping frames and it's hard on my yeah. eyes because it just doesn't feel right. When I got HD, it was like night and day. I was like, wow, this yeah. is actually playing like a pinball machine. They, they really flipped the yeah. script with enabling an OTG on it and giving yeah. people that option, you know, to kind of get that 
into that into that platform of playing, you know, on the go pinball like that is a huge thing. Yeah. Ray De La Torre says the micro got him into that was his first. That's what uh, his first pinball machine was. That's oh, great okay. too. Yeah, I've heard great things about the micro actually. <laughs> yeah, I mean people, you know, playing in our tournaments sometimes with the with the uh, micro through OTG and stuff. So. Well, I heard that, that they fixed a lot of things from the HD when they brought out the micro. And I heard that, the, yeah. I mean, just all sorts of things where it's like, oh, this didn't, this used to not be that great on HD, but then they fixed all those things on the micro. And then, of course, the 4KP, they advanced it even more. Yeah. And, and um, especially for the OTG crowd. And I cannot wait to play um, or at least use my machine for that. Yeah. Yeah. I can't wait for you to get it built and get a chance to play it. Um, yeah, you know, and get a hands on experience with it. Uh, Doc Mario S, does the 4K also play at 60 frames per second? Yes, it does. Some of the Zen tables, you know, especially the beginning ones, probably did not, but you know, further on Zen going, uh, we're getting closer and closer to 60. The last two packs were just actually really what the last five or six since uh, Attack from Mars. Really, at Attack yeah. from Mars is where they turned the, they turned they turned the tide a little bit and got them a lot closer. But believe me, Zen themselves are not happy. You know, Zen themselves yeah, they, say the they say it all the time. They're gonna. Yeah. I mean, they want to fix it, Zen. So yeah. I mean, it's it's everyone is on this, and they're they're you know, I you know, we'll just have to wait and see. Yep, we'll have to wait and see. Hopefully, Tampa Tech's right. It's coming sooner than yeah. later. I hope you know, so. I'm, I'm hoping they. He's right, and they uh, they they figured it out. That'd be great. Because that's the only uh, only really sticky part for most people is the Zen tables. Uh, right. Everybody right. loves got libs. Everybody loves the Zen yeah. The Ryan natural libs. history uh, yeah. one and two are going to be awesome. The, the the two one looked amazing. Uh, I mean, I can't wait to watch it again on my computer. I had it on my phone. Um, you guys like the 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 natural good. history ones, uh, the natural history pack. I like I, I like I like. Yeah. Uh, a lot of the tables I like. There's a few I don't. Exoplanets, maybe not. No, oh, yeah, that was a, <laughs> yeah, was maybe cool. not exoplanets, but I, I like. I really like uh, Amazonia. I like. Uh, That's Diamond the one Fernandes I like. D. Yeah, I like Amazonia was the only one that kind of grabbed me. Uh, the rest of them, not so much. But as you said, Papa Brad, uh, the more options you throw out there, the more. I mean, you're going to hit more different different audiences. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. that's true. The more you get out there, yeah. I yeah. like the Ice Age one. I just like, I really like the sound effects on that one. Yeah. Yeah. And the magic pixel tables play completely different than the Gottlieb tables and the Zen tables. They're all completely oh, different. Yeah. They're all different. Yeah, yeah. But you can't really compare them. Like you can't compare the magic pixel to Zen because it's two different things. If you want to yeah. compare Zen, you should be comparing it to OTG. There's oh, okay. Zen, there's Zen on OTG, in my opinion, you know, there's Zen OTG and Zen on native ad games. You know, those, yeah. those are comparable, but like, compare it let's say apple and orange you know yeah i just want to compare elvira when it comes to the uh the, i know that's the, what we need we need elvira <laughs> we need elvira on the 4k fee i'm telling you yeah we do and then we need a skin if we get elvira yeah that's right you get elvira you got to get the skin well actually it doesn't matter which one all the all elvira pinball tables are awesome and actually, technically, me and Team McCloskey already have Elvira on our 4KP with our um, Stern mat. I saw that. No, that's right. I forgot you got that. <laughs> yeah, we, <laughs> we have Elvira technically. <laughs> oh, one of the things I want to tell you, like one of the things I was impressed with going from the HD to the 4KP is the interface. There she is. Elvira. Yeah, the, inter the interface is way better. The whole the whole interface system is way less uh, complicated. They did a yeah, great it looks like job. Pinup. Yeah, when yeah. they redid the interface, like it used to be, you had to have the joystick to be able to navigate. Yeah, I felt like it was like so clunky, but the uh, the new interface yeah. is just that's why they're planning on going with it with the arcades when they redo it too. They're going to use that newer interface they came out with, but that's a huge yeah. improvement. Yeah, um, huge. I know. I Team Lacrosse, you have the pucks and stuff. That use the older interface, and there's just no comparison. It's just no, so much better. Not. I get so mad at that damn thing sometimes too, because you go along, and then all of a sudden you hit like down by mistake instead of going sideways, and it goes down to the tiles and stuff. It's like oh, I hate that damn thing. Yeah, we we'll see would upgrade those pucks to that new one. I don't yeah. know they gonna do, do everything think? to the new one. Do you think? I know the AOU coming is 
the one the new... coming to Walmart's going to have the new. I mean, the one coming to Sam's is going to have the new interface. And then they, before the next, too. the next, uh, the next uh, ALU they're going to make. Do you think that, that um, they should have a model can... between the uh, 4K and the? I'm sorry. Go ahead, video game biggest. Oh, yeah. Yeah, do you think that uh, Killer Instinct 1 and 2, I mean, I'm not talking the pinball tables, I'm talking the actual Killer Instinct 1 and 2 and Battletoads will be coming to the 4KP, and would it be advantageous uh, to, because the reason that I was kind of wanting the, the the control panel on the 4KP and bought one was the fact that I heard that, of course, Killer Instinct uh, 1 and 2 and Battletoads were coming to the platforms uh, with that games, and I was just hoping that, Maybe I could play the fighting games on that bigger back glass screen um, uh, mm -hmm. with Killer Instinct. Yeah, I don't know. They haven't announced anything on that yet. Um, I think yeah. that's quite. I think that's down the road. So we'll have to wait and see what they do. Okay. Um, yeah, they don't really. Year. They don't really have an arcade platform yet for the uh, pinball. You know, like they had. They had um, where you could buy arcade games in packs on the um, on the ALU, right? Right. But I haven't seen the arcade games. Man, I always thought it was a huge miss. They should make some pinball that they have that actually uses the extra controller panel. Like if you have that controller panel, how cool would it be to be playing a oh, pinball yeah. game and then it breaks into a video game and you could actually use the controls on the well, uh, joystick and the buttons. Well, think about baby Pac-Man. Yeah, that would be awesome. I mean, yeah. they, they could do, I mean, they could have it where you could still use the D-pad or whatever. Or, but I mean, just to enable the controls would be a, a cool thing. Oh, um, yeah. I would like to see on something in the future. Um, and like yeah, mini but, games. Yeah. Yeah. Cause baby Pac Man, you had where you were playing on the pinball machine. And then when it, when you'd hit a certain place on the table, then it would go up an and play Pac Man. Game. Yeah. Exactly. They could totally do that too, yeah. which would be really yeah. cool. Yeah. And even like the, you know, Zen with the Duke Nukem. Um, you had those little mini games. Oh, yeah. You, you oh, got to yeah. shoot. You know, in the movie theater, it'd be awesome to use the control stick and button, man, to, to maneuver that. That'd be so cool. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah I play that on OT. It is hard to use the pinball buttons to do the shooting game. <laughs> it's a lot easier oh, on the consoles because you have the joystick controller, you know, but uh, it's kind of harder on the pinball, I find. Yeah. Yeah. You know, that game should do that, man. Um, bring out packs of like arcade games for the pinball, 4K pinball. Yes. To play I in agree. Back. Especially if it's just like I would say, like put out a small pack of vertical games that are in vertical. Yes. Yeah. Like yeah. some shmups or something. I think that'd be awesome. I love but, playing 1942 oh, well, awesome. on my HD. I do too. I do too, man. Yeah. And they could have vertical open games up too. are awesome with the pinball table. I mean, they look fit. Yeah. They look pretty good with that old screen, screen, baby. Old screen, man. Old Stretch screen. that screen. Yep. You got you got a gigantic centipede or Galaga or oh you know, yeah, whatever you're playing. You know, you could say 1942. Yes. Yeah, and they, and they can have in the settings um, where you want to play on a back box or on a play field. You yeah, know, they can just have it yes. push it to whatever one. They already have that figured out. Yeah, yeah. just put it in the settings which one you want to play it on. Um, like verticals, you would obviously want to play on a play field, but some of the scrolling ones, you know, you would want to play in a back box, box or back glass. Yeah. Give us an option in the settings. That would be so cool. And it would open up more games on the, the 4K pinball machine. Yeah. As well. I'm, I'm interested. I'm, I, I play the coin op X all the time on uh, my pinball. So I love it. I love stretching that freaking uh, field of the whole play field, man. It's so fun playing on that thing stretched. Oh yeah. Yeah. I mean, Jason's pretty much right. You could play most of the arcade packs on the 24 inch back glass, which is actually the same size yeah. as the ALU. It's an ALU's yeah. monitor. It's the same size. Yeah. It's the same yeah. monitor. Yeah, they just opened up more, uh, you know, more uh, streams that you know revenue for them as well, because now now you're just not getting the AO people, you're getting the 4K uh, pinball too, or in HD too. I mean, it would be for both yeah. HD pinball and 4K pinball. I mean, it would be great. I think they would have a lot of interest in that, especially if you have that control panel, or arcade control panel. Well, I think you oh, can yeah, on I you do. can on the HD right now. I mean, I could play Activision games on my HD. I think it's already okay, enabled yeah. for the HD pinball. Yeah, yeah, I could play the Activision games on the on the HD pinball. And they, they had, and that's true too, because they had a couple. They did they have some Data East packs for the HD pinball. Yeah, I mean, they have packs. 
Yeah, they're actually AOU packs, but they work on the on the HD pinball. Yeah. So it'd be cool if they bring that over to the 4K and mm -hmm. you know add more um, mm -hmm. for the HD as well. Eason says the General Loader Arcade app could play all the games you typically play on the ALU screen on the ALP backlash monitor. There's a lot of possibilities. Yep. Yeah. Mm. Yep. So much is coming. I know. I heard they're, build, they're building a build for the 4KP, but I haven't heard of an arcade build for it. But that would be great, you know? Yep. Yeah, it would. I have I have my arcade joystick skinned and just sitting in a box, Team McCloskey. I know you never put it back on there. <laughs> put it back on. I know I have it skinned and everything with the Adams family. It looks great. Yep, that's right. HD's getting new packs, getting the natural history pack. Plus, isn't the, um, um, I, th I think the um, rare ones are going to the HD as well, right? The rare I pinball didn't know that. packs. I thought yeah. they were coming to both. I think they're coming to both. Yeah, Metal Soso sure. says that the uh, tables that were shown in the Tampa Tech video were on the HD. They look pretty good. The natural history. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. So he, he has the HD pinball. He has it all. I mean, he has like everything because he, he does, uh, you know, quality well, he control. Kind of, he got that yeah. quality assurance job. Yep. So he has everything. <laughs> he has everything at games makes, it looks like. Hmm. But nice. So what do we got next, Team McCloskey? I just want to let people know too before we move on is okay. like today today was wave one started for mm. eighth through um, the twelfth. Store direct. And then Monday the twelfth is when the factory direct go on sale. Mm. So just let you people know that for wave one. So today was started wave one for store direct, and then Monday is wave one for factory direct. The factory direct is the one that's like eleven hundred plus a hundred dollars shipping, right? Yes. So that's that. That's that. That's the lower price one. Yeah, that's going to be the one that's going to sell out quick. That's going to go quick, Team McCloskey. Yeah. When and does that both... come live? That comes live on Monday. Monday the twelfth. Yep. Monday the twelfth. Okay. So. All right. What else you want to? Uh, where, are we in, where are we going next? And there's those coupons again. This is a lot easier to see. Too. Yeah, that shows all the coupons for the Wave 1. Wave 1, 150 off. You know, $50 coupon on your topper. $50 coupon for your SSF kit. Buy one, get one for the advanced features, and then 35% off all packs. And it is just for the people that are purchasing the machine now. Like, we can't get that 35% off. I wish we no, could. I don't, I don't get that. <laughs> I wish we could, man. I'd buy a couple more, but. Yeah. Oh, that's, I, a, I, discount, that's a good discount. I had a question oh. on the toppers. So um, let's say that, I, of course, I have the Adams Family uh, 4KP. What if I just wanted to go out and say, "Hey, I'd like to have one of those uh, those uh, Attack from Mars toppers." Can you buy just the topper? Yes, uh, eventually. I'm, I'm, I'm not sure when. Yeah, eventually, yeah. I bet you're going to be in one. Yeah, they're going to have them in their store. Yeah, I asked sure that games that. One. Yeah, I asked that games that, and he said, um, "Yeah, it's going to be in their e store eventually." Cool. Um, so anybody anybody can buy those toppers. Cause they they do this with Snoopy pinball, man. I want that Snoopy pinball. Oh, I do too. Yeah, oh like yes, Snoopy topper. I know you said you like I'm that one. Too. Yeah, I love that. Man. Put that on the wall. I put it on the wall. Light it up, man. It would be cool. That would be cool. So, yeah, that thirty five percent off on pinball packs, man, is a pretty good deal. That That's just way one. And in, in the wave one here, it is here. Purchases between August eighth at nine a.m. Pacific and in August 12th um, until 6 p.m. So that's wave one. So it's not to the 15th. So it's the 12th. So 8th through the 12th is wave one. Okay. Yeah. Now, now I have a question about the 35% off. Is that for everything but Zen? Yeah. Okay. And, Zen. and, and, and actually, uh, you know how we are always saying uh, that we wish that the Zens would go on sale. Um, mm -hmm. The, I think that, that it's smart right now because of the issues they're having with Zen to basically put the discounts on the ones that we know that work. 
Uh, yeah. So uh, so the only way that I would want to see Zen go on sale if they're not working is to see like an 80 percent off, you know, just basically say, hey, we're going to have you guys beta test, you know, <laughs> and, and really just put them cheap. But, yeah, I'd, I'd hate for to see a sale on on broken um, on, on. Well, I'm not going to say broken on not optimal um, yeah. versions of the table. So so I think that it is smart just to keep it to the things that they know that really work well. Yeah, it's a safe bet. That's for sure. Yep. But some, and to be fair though, some Zen tables are a really great value. Like Attack from Mars is five bucks. You know. Yeah, I mean, that like, is a good value. I would say, I would say, do not skip that one. And Twilight Zone is probably the closest to perfect they've ever done with the Zen tables. Twilight oh, okay. Zone plays almost perfect. Yeah. Wow! Wow! To me, it's incredible. Looks um, looks. And really I play good it. Too. I play it on OTG too. It's it's very good. I don't. You know that to me. You know, to me, that was the biggest misstep. That should have been the launch table with that with that pinball table on it because it plays so good. But, you know, can't go back, Video Game Vegas. You can't go back. As long as I can use my 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 $5 appreciation coupons to get yeah. it. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. So what do we got next, Team McCloskey? Where are we going? Tournaments? Uh, let's do uh, the calendar at games. You want to continue with that games or you want to move to something else? Uh, yeah, well, I'm trying to find it. Oh, here it is. Let's do Flipper Friends real quick. See what what tables are up next because that starts tomorrow. Okay, uh, we're at what? I, I guess we're at Let's week six. Next. So week six we're on right now. So week six we have Bone Busters for Gotland. Bone Busters, that was a good one. Bubble and Bobble for uh, Pinball Open. And then how you say a pinball mint? Zancor. Zancor. Yeah, that's Zacharia. Six. Zacharia yeah. Pack 6. So that's this that's week's cool. tables to start tomorrow. So there's my friends for that's you. That's awesome. Scroll up a little bit. I enjoyed that big shot table in Space and Space. I enjoyed all three tables this past week. Those All three of those were fun to play. They were fun. They were big really shot. fun. I mean, Fire Mountain reminds me. I mean, that, if that's not the closest thing to a uh, Williams ripoff, the sound effects, I mean, that 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 Fire Mountain could have been <laughs> a Williams table. It literally exactly sounds like a Williams table. Well, but, a lot of those those um, uh, Zachariah tables, they actually used uh, sound effects from Williams video games. I believe well, it because it, sound, it sounded just like a Williams. Yeah. I was like playing it. I was yeah. like, man, this, this could have been on a Williams pinball table. Oh, but, yeah. Uh, they play good in that. So next week we get Bone Busters, which I like. That's a fun table. Yeah. Um, I got to play a real one at the Houston Arcade Expo. It was pretty fun. We got Bubble Bobble, which is very similar to Space Invaders. It's like a, you know, what do you think? Do you, have you played those, Team McCloskey, Space Invaders, or Bubble Bobble? They're kind of like a um, combination of a video game and a pinball table. There's things that walk across the table. Yeah. Like yeah, I played both. And stuff. And then we yeah, got I like Unicorn. Space Invaders. I just don't like Bubble Bobble. Um, Bubble Bobble plays too long. Yeah. Yeah. Space Invaders ends, man. Even if you don't freaking Space uh, Invaders drink is balls. awesome. It it ends, ends, it ends. Yeah. The thing that's funny is you think you had an awesome game, and then you, <laughs> when you then you look at the score <laughs> people get, and you're like, man, I played yep. for like 15 minutes. I thought I was <laughs> yep. an ass. And then like you get the scores, and it's like, man, I don't know how to play pinball or something. Look at these scores. <laughs> yep. There's definitely there's definitely some score uh, strategies you must have to have, but uh, I still yeah. think it's. For the average person, if they played that, they'd be pretty happy because it really does meld a video game and a and a pinball pretty well. Yeah. You know, I think the next step is they need to integrate the controller, though, for people that buy the controller to have the option to use the controller when it, when it goes to video game mode or add some more video game modes in. Like, you know, a lot of the great uh, uh, Williams pinballs, they have, and even Stern, they have a lot of mini games. And that would be an ideal yeah. use for that controller. Yep. Would be awesome. So you would add that. Just want to show you guys, man. I was a winner this week or last week, whatever. I run, you won. Ten awesome. dollar random flipper That's friends cool. winner. Very Woo! cool. <laughs> All right. Excellent. All right. Awesome. Just don't buy any Zen tables. <laughs> what I can't buy no Zen tables with that. I know Zen tables. Do you have all the Taito packs yet? Taito packs are awesome. 
You should just, if, you, if you're missing one, you should just buy a Taito pack. Those are all awesome. Those are good. Yeah, I should. That was the, the good thing I, about. I think we all got sale. the Gottliebs. Yeah. Yeah. That I was the good thing about the first 4KP sales was uh, all table packs were fifty uh, percent off. I know and that. That's where I bought all my Titos and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I kind of loaded. I loaded up on a lot of them when they had the good deal. Yeah. I got my 10 bucks. I was shocked. Caro told me about it. I'm like, really? I actually won? I'm like, dang, I never win. I was like, hey, <laughs> but I think the schedule, the only thing that they have really um, that's super important is at the end of the month, we're getting uh, the Jurassic Park three pack, which will be good. Those actually are decent tables. Yeah. We just did. Good. We just did a tournament on with Jurassic Park, the first table. And that, yeah, those, that table's those are a lot actually of fun. good. Challenging because uh, the the uh, to activate modes is time based and you have to make it within so many seconds. Oh yeah! So uh, Jurassic Park is a uh, is a great uh, challenging table. It's it's but it's it's not easy. It has not an easy mode table. It's, it's kind of yeah. because there's a small window you have to start the events. Yeah. See, I like some Zen originals. <laughs> yeah. I, okay. I mean, yeah, I, me too. I do like some. I know you're. I know you feel about Godzilla. We won't even go there, video game Vegas. No, 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 <laughs> we won't even go to Godzilla. But the thing you know, is, Jurassic if you Park, guys, if you guys like them, that's the whole thing. It's like yeah. some people are going to like certain tables. Like right. I didn't think anybody was going to like Trolls, and I fell in love with that one. Yeah, Trolls is great. Yeah, yeah. it's so much fun. Okay, I can't so, believe I, I like that table, but it's really fun. Yeah. So I just want to show you real quick. This is, this is probably the easiest way to see these uh, wave one, two, and three. So there's the premium starter pack. It's factory direct. So this is the ones coming from China, right? Mm -hmm. So it's, you know, eighth to the 12th for wave one. Wave two is 15th through the 19th. And then wave three is the 22nd to the 26th. So you don't have much time. You got five days um, to purchase um, these waves if you um, yeah. factory direct. And then the U.S. warehouse one starts on the 23rd they'll be in stock at the u.s warehouse on the 23rd in that they basically yeah. ship out right away but you don't get the lower price no wave one factory direct is one the best deal to what, get 12 12 49 factory no this one is uh um 1009 or 1100 bucks okay it's starting it started today right that yeah. one that one's right now. okay and then that's the one you get to buy one, get one, the fifty dollars. The, the U.S. Longer. warehouse is twelve forty nine, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. The U.S. warehouse one, it's the one on the twenty third. Yes. Okay. Yep. Yeah. So yeah, the best deal is Wave One Factory Direct started today, and it only goes to the twelfth, so it's Monday. So you only have five mm -hmm. days to get into that deal. So if yeah. you're on a fence or thinking about doing it, you got to the Monday at six p.m. Pacific. Thirty to fifty five yeah. days shipping direct from China. One thousand ninety nine dollars plus one hundred bucks shipping. Yeah, and they, they said not to be. It could change, but they said roughly around September seventh, um, which would be about a month if you ordered on eighth. Um, you'd get it right. You know, they you might get it around the seventh of September. So it kind of gives you. Um, that would be like the, yeah, that'd be the earliest you would get it where it would be the seventh, which is thirty days from the eighth. So, and they like Jason said, thirty to fifty five days. So the earliest you could see it would be the September 7th, but it could be definitely later. So that's the time frame for those. So that was, I'm glad I saw that up there. It's probably the easiest way to see these on all the stuff that we looked at. And then, like you said, uh, August 21st, subject to change, we could get Jurassic Park pinball pack, which there's three, three pinball tables in that pack, right? Yeah, there's three different pin, uh, Jurassic Park, Jurassic World, and um, I always forget the third one. I forget the third one. There's three different ones. Yeah, and, that's and I definitely have to. Hold, yeah, and I definitely have to hold about, uh, anything that's in. I'm I'm holding back though until yeah, um, they 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 get the the lag done because I mean I I really I I just can't. I wish I could recommend something like that, but I know that I wouldn't buy them myself until um, I I actually stop buying all Zen packs until they figure it out. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. I mean, to me, yeah. they did get better since the Attack from Mars, but they're still not perfect. They're not, you know, they're not, you know. Well, I mean, I think there's room for improvement still. Yeah. 
especially with the flipper lag in plunger. Um, it's really not plunger lag. Who do you say? The plunger thing doesn't even bother me though, because like when nah, you play OCG, I use a button for the most part. But the flipper, the flipper delay. What's up, Tomato Grass? Good to see you. Yeah, plunger Happy delay. Thursday. Yeah, it don't bother me either, but I know it does for some people. Yeah, uh, no, they, had, they had it pretty close to one to one on the HD. They had it so dialed in. It's they like did. that always impressed me. Yeah, on the HD pinball, they did a pretty good job with the plunger. Oh, um, yeah. I yeah, wonder absolutely. why they're having such a challenge. I, I don't know what's different, but it did. It was pretty impressive on the HD. Oh, yeah. And I was told by X Games they figured that plunger uh, thing out. Okay, they just had well. some reason. It's for some reason they haven't firmware updated it yet. So yeah, sure why. Well, we need that firmware update. That's the firmware update I want to see. And Team McCloskey, we will have a party whenever the whenever the Zen flipper lag. That's when we have a blowout party at the arcade talk <laughs> show. We're gonna have a big yeah. party. It'll be a party episode. You say woo, <laughs> pop the champagne. That's right. Funny fix the flipper and lag. We got Barnes fixed. Arcade in the chat. Welcome to the chat, Barnes Arcade. He has a YouTube channel. Go check him out. Barnes Arcade? Yeah, he has a YouTube Welcome. channel. Welcome to the chat. Okay, so we're, we're at an hour and a half. So we got 30 minutes. We can do it, right? Yeah, let's do it. I mean, we got to get into our tournaments. We can do it. Right. Let's do, uh, you want to do Carlos Game of the Week first? So everybody yeah, can let's take do a little, that. Take a yes. little break. Yeah. That's good. Yeah, let's do Carlos Game of the Week. <clears throat> yes. It's that time, guys. Four. It's that time. Four. Woo! Let's go! And the game of the week is the real Ghostbusters. The real Ghostbusters. Oh, I love that game. Oh, that, Bosky, game. that is a perfect pick for you. The real Ghostbusters. <laughs> Somebody else didn't want to do it. <laughs> I got I'm going to go get the numbskull uh, version. Yeah. yeah, it's crazy. Some of these Carlo games of the week, um, they do really great on my channel. I think Renegade yeah, is in the, uh, you know, in the thousand, over a thousand views. That's great. But I, I love, I, I love, love going back game. to these classic arcade games. I mean, yes. it's never it's never too late to come back to these classics, you know, and yeah. give them another shot and play them again, That's especially right. with how good our emulation is today. I mean, we're really, like I said, we are spoiled. We live in a golden age, you know. Are you, you guys looking at the age. the numbskull version, the the uh, the one fourth scale uh, go, real Ghostbusters? Man, I, I just don't have the space to collect many of those. I have a couple of new wave toys, but. I don't have the space, man. Yeah. Oh, I hear you. I hear you. They are big. They are cool, though. Yeah, look at that marquee on this thing. That thing's a beast. Ooh, I see that, I man. Love it's, it. it's curved. It reminds me of RoboCop. It had that crazy curved marquee like that. They're also yeah. getting RoboCop, too, uh, Numbskull. Is that a Data really? East? I think it was a Data yeah. East. Was RoboCop Data, Data East? Yep, absolutely. Yeah. They had that same cabinet with the curve. I think they had the, the same cabinet then. Yeah, probably. Yeah. This came out in 1987. Real Ghostbusters. Yeah. Great hey, game. A Robocop, Team McCloskey. I remember, you know where I first came across Robocop? The only reason I mentioned is because uh, Video Game Vegas was in Colorado. I was going skiing and I, I oh, injured really? my foot skiing. Yes. Oh, wow. <laughs> and uh, they, had, they had Robocop at the ski lodge. <laughs> so uh, that's where I was. I played a ton of Robocop. Yeah, it was I in my uh, had that crazy. Union. Had that crazy curved uh, bezel like that, the, the logo, I mean, the marquee. There's nothing oh, yeah. quite like it. This is a three-player game, huh, Team McCloskey? Yes, it is. It's three players. Yes, it is. You don't see it's that too much. Like Battletoads. There's not a ton of games that were three-player Rampage. That's cool, though. Yeah, it's a great game. I know some people don't like it, but I just fell in love with it. Let's see, yeah, it looks like it's could be the same cabinet, uh, but the control deck's obviously different. So, there's the Robocop on the Robocop. Yeah, Robocop yeah. had two different cabinets, one just had a small picture of the Robocop poster, and the other one had the full side art. And that we had the full side art one in my college student union, it's just a oh, fantastic cool. machine. 
that's a RoboCop too, part two. Awesome. That's not the original. Okay. Yeah. Same yeah, marquee original one looks different. Yeah, yeah. It doesn't RoboCop have the two marquee. is like the sequel to Ras, uh, the sequel to um, uh, Rastin, like NASTAR uh, Warrior. It's uh, not as good as the first. Not as good as the original. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's run the video I got here. Yeah, three player. Okay, so that. good. And this is actually based off of the cartoon series. I didn't know yeah, that until I did this video. Yeah. Most people yeah. thought it was based off the movie, but it's not. It's actually based off the movie or a cartoon series that came out the same year, 1987. Oh, okay, yeah. cool. There's the marquee. Okay. Roll the. Video here. Carl O's game of the week is the Wayne Ghostbuster, released by Daddy East in 1987. <clears throat> the real Ghostbusters arcade game was not developed. By David Crane, but rather by Batty East. It's more straightforward running gun action game, more suitable to the arcade than the first Ghostbusters game, though it's not as well known since it was never ported to the consoles. Only European computers. As the title cover and cabinet art indicate, it's technically a tie in with the real Ghostbusters cartoon series, which began airing in 1987. However, there is no indication of this within the arcade game. As none of the characters are actually look like any of the Ghostbusters. That East game is an oddity because it's actually a reskin version of a different Japanese arcade game called Meikyu 100G, which translates to Labyrinth 100G. Even though there's some similar characteristics between the two games, there are still numerous differences between them. Unlike most running guns at the time, where the goal was simply to charge forward straight line. The levels here are more non-linear as you need to move left and right to find a path to the exit. There's not exactly mazes through even though if you come across a dead end you can create a bridge or a ladder by shooting some of the scenery. After defeating the boss of which there are sometimes several you have to fight at the same time you get a key and unlock the door to the next stage. If there is no life meter one hit will kill you. This is what makes this game difficult. difficult. The main differences between the real Ghostbusters and MayQ 100G lies with the weapon system. In MayQ 100G, your standard weapon is a gun, which is ineffective against almost everything. There are a few different weapon power ups. They are infrequent and disappear very quickly when revealed, making them hard to obtain. The second button fires a bunch of bullets in a circle, damaging everything around you. If you hold down both buttons, you activate the laser beam. This is more useful than your main gun, but unfortunately, its energy is very limited. In the real Ghostbusters, you're still equipped with a gun, though there are no more extra power-ups. Instead, your laser beam is assigned to the second button. You have much more energy, making it far more useful. It's also been upgraded, so it looks and acts more like the proton beams from the movie. Plus, there's a new power-up, which strengthens it even further. A later revision replaces your main gun with a circle fire weapon of MayQ 100G. You only use the weak gun when you run out of proton pack energy. In Ghostbusters, Slimer also appears as a power-up. There he is! It around your character and hurts enemies. There's also a third a Slimer! Of Ghostbusters. He made an appearance. <laughs> made an appearance, Team McCloskey. Killing the enemy with either weapon will release them from their body, turning them into ghosts. They are harmless, but the only way to capture them is by using the photon beam. It's not exactly accurate to the movie. At least the end of each level, there's a short cinema of your team loading the captured ghosts into a containment unit, raining extra points. As for the visuals, most of the Titles are the same, and while the levels look similar, yeah, those things suck. Have different layouts. <laughs> yeah, those bullet things. Levels. 
Yeah, what's up? Uh, they they look like Klansmen with the pointy they hats. Are. On. It looks <laughs> like the Klux did the Klux Klan Klan sponsor this game. What's up with that? I thought they looked like sharks. Wrong with taking out some Klans Klansmen. I uh, mean, yeah, but I'm just saying. Uh, <laughs> look at that. This looks crazy. It's awesome. The other have been redrawn for Ghostbusters. The new ones have a more comic look that fits in tone with the movie. There's only a single boring song that plays in over and over and cheap. over. In Ghostbusters, this has been replaced with Ray Parker's famous theme, which is well rendered, but grows mind numbing after you hear it. Over and uh, so they play the Ghostbusters yeah. theme the whole time, yeah. Team McCloskey? Yeah, the whole time. The entire game is playing the Ghostbusters theme. Looped. Wow. You know that the Ghostbusters theme is um, was ripped off from Huey Lewis in the News, right? I didn't know that. Did yeah. I know that? Um, yep, yep. Uh, and Huey Lewis sued Ray Parker Jr. Um, and won. Wow. They actually asked Huey Lewis to do the uh, the theme song first, uh, or they wanted to use something similar, and he said no, and so then they just took it, um, which is the um, uh, what is the song? Wow. Never knew that. Oh yeah, I want a new drug. I want a new drug by Huey Lewis. Oh uh, yeah. Oh. Name. Yep. And you could sing right. You could sing Ghostbusters right to it. Yeah. Steve McCloskey, uh, everyone is impressed with your game playing here. Goofy Foot says he's never seen someone die this much in a demo. There you go, guys. There you you die a lot in the game. The game must yeah. be hard. It is hard. Dude, a lot of credits. That, that guy's getting you with his balls, Team McCluskey. He only has one. It's ball buddies. Ball busters. It's a lot of fun. If you play it every game, you have to get the key to get to the next stage. So I hope you enjoyed this, guys. If you did, please smash that like button for me. I appreciate it. If you need the channel, I haven't subscribed yet. Please hit that subscribe button. Turn that bell on. That Thank is you. cool. To the next video. Yeah, save the city. This was an arcade I never saw a physical version. Like as many are arcades and arcade things I go to, I've never seen one of these machines wow. out in the wild. Yeah, I've always played it in the arcade. That is cool. Yeah, it was great. But that's the thing why about it's cool so rare. Arcades. I mean, I haven't seen it. I haven't seen it. You think I would have ran across it? But that's cool. That's great. There it is. Real you can see it. You can see on the side art, this is actually the you know the cartoon figures. That's and right. I ain't oh, afraid yeah. of no ghost, Team Klosky. No, they're Slimers. I just added Slimer to my home arcade, um, a little small one in my Halloween village. Oh, did you really? Yeah, yeah, he lights up and everything. Ah, cool. Yeah, you'll be showing that soon, right? When uh, Halloween comes. Oh out. yeah, I definitely want to do a Halloween, a new Halloween. Yeah, I like I like your I like your uh, Nightmare Before Christmas stuff. I always thought that was super cool. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Your yeah, I love that stuff. Very cool. I like that you had like the Christmas and the Halloween theme. Yes. Oh man, those are my favorite themes. And and my my Halloween village um, in the arcade. You just saw one level. The rest um, <laughs> I I blocked off. I've now finished it. It's four levels now. It's a whole amusement park. That is awesome. That is awesome. Yeah. Yeah, I can't wait to show it off. It's it it turned out so good. Oh, and Papa Brad, um, I I I got a theme song. It's coming out probably next week. All right, I'll have to check it out. I'll have to check it out. I love theme songs. Yeah, this one I I actually sing it a cappella. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Wow. It's a, it's actually one I wrote. Hopefully it won't be too cringy. <laughs> yeah. Welcome to the chat, Steps Gaming. Glad you're here. So what do we got Steps. next, Team McCloskey? It's team Tournaments. And do our tournaments. Yeah, okay, let's guys. Keep it rolling. Let's keep it rolling. Let's do, let's do the new one real quick. And then uh, we'll end the show with uh, showing uh, the placements of the, the old one. So what's the new table we're doing? The poll says Whirlwind is our Whirlwind, new table. Yeah. Whirlwind. I love Whirlwind. It is a it's kind of a hard table though. It's not it's no, it it's no walk in the park. No, and there's that oh, certain randomness when you get the storm going. 
Oh, like, yeah. As much as you think you're planning, that that's going to be that random element where, like, every game's not going to be the same. Literally, I was cussing. The last game that I played, <laughs> I was, I literally started cussing. Team Acosta, I have a very long fuse, but uh, <laughs> yeah, it got me because I, I was, I had a really good game. My first, my first and the second ball did well. And my third ball, like, it literally almost went straight down the drain. It was like, I, did, I literally did not get to play the third. And I was doing great. But, uh, you know, that's that's yeah. pinball, you know. Yeah, I was playing it today, man, after Ooh. I did my video. It's like, damn, this thing, man. I only got, like, 60,000 points in one game because it kept that's draining. Like it gets easier. You start to learn the paths. I have to play it a little while to get used to it yeah. again. But there's – yeah, then you get the storm activated. Yeah. And it's, uh, it's cool, the version you show with all the effects. You know, a lot of times I turn all that stuff off. Turn it on cool. in this one. It's pretty cool it's looking. Cool. Some of the effects yeah. that they had come up with. Yeah, that's why. I How about you, video game. game Vegas? Are you a purist? Do you turn all that stuff off, or do you like to? Are you kind of go back and forth? I turn it off, but mm -hmm. there are a couple tables that I actually played a little bit with the the. Well, I I will play with the animations on, but not the ball trails or anything. Oh but yeah, the, the ball Adams trails family. Back. Yeah, the Adams family is kind of cool with uh the the electric chair, uh Twilight Zone, another one. Just fantastic. The lighting with, hits with the, the door yeah. opening. Yeah. yeah, they did a good job on on some uh, creature from the Black Lagoon. Oh yeah, that's my the animated one. creature. I love. Yeah. I actually I actually like that more than the classic um, version. Yeah. That they I, have. I just think it's cool. Awesome. It's a great use of uh, virtual pinball. You know. Yeah, because yeah, it's actually a three D effect that's actually three D. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Back to the Future is not bad either, <clears throat> especially with the. The flames for the tires, but this is a fun one. And then the, here's the best part: Team McCloskey. This is a one of the all-time classic real-world pinballs. So while you're practicing this on your on on Zen Pinball, when you go to an arcade and you play this pinball, it's going to greatly benefit your ability to play the game. This is this is one that you. I mean, I come across this game all the time. I think yes, in the last, yeah. I mean, they. I think they had three of them at uh, the. Uh, Southern Fried Gaming, they had multiple whirlwinds. This but, is you the know, one that has the fan, gimmick. right? It has the fan. Yeah, yeah the yep. fan blows uh -huh. on you. When you go into the storm, the fan blows on you. It's yep. great. I told yeah. Team McCloskey, I'm going to bring my fan in here when I'm playing. <laughs> <laughs> I can relive the uh, arcade experience. You know, when the storm kicks on, I'll hit that power button on the fan. Put a little foot can you on. imagine? Could you imagine at games making a topper for whirlwind and actually making a table and then putting a fan in the middle of it? That would be amazing. I mean, <laughs> yeah, awesome. That would be amazing. I mean, that'd be so it, cool. They make toppers now, so it's not. Yeah. I don't they, could reality, totally, right? they could totally make a whirlwind. Yep. That'd be awesome. All right. There's the, the tournament ID you, you look for LNB three. That's the ID for this uh, tournament. Go ahead and show a little clip. Yeah, this is this is true Williams pinball. This is yep. the real deal. From part of our Kate Talk show presents Zen Studios Pinball Tournament. This week's table is it's a it's a whirlwind. <laughs> Tornado has it. Look at the tornado. That is so cool. It is cool. Yeah, I have this one on my um, Attack from Mars uh, uh, with the mod. Okay, cool. Yeah. Oh, nice. They have the weather effects too when you're playing. If you play with the uh, special features on. Go ahead and hit play. Once pinball FX loads up, all you have to do is go over to tournaments so up here, click on tournaments. Once the tournament page loads up, all you have to do is go up to search ID. At least they made a search ID bigger. It was yeah. used to be so small. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, they did make it bigger. NB3. So that's our tournament ID for this week. LNB3. Go ahead and hit enter. And our tournament should show up. You click on our tournament tab 
Then you got you can go into the leaderboard or you can go in and play. Go ahead and look at the table real quick. Cool looking pinball machine. All blue. Yeah. And all you have to do to enter the tournament is you hit enter, get your ball started. And all you have to do is play one round of whirlwind, and the score will automatically post to our leaderboard. That's all you gotta do, guys. It's that easy. Join our tournament. A little gameplay here. You can play with the visuals on or off, it doesn't matter. Oh, look at that. You can see the winds. <laughs> look at the water. Look, it's starting to rain. <laughs> starting yeah, to get some rain, Team McCloskey. There's some craziness with the ball there. Those three things in the middle. Craziness. Yeah, there's, there's a randomness to it. Yep. All yeah, before like, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles stern. Yeah, they took yep, the that's right. I didn't realize there was an upper uh, flipper. Multi yeah, there's upper floor, and there's there's another plunger lane. There's a plunger lane on the uh, left side, T. McCloskey. Yes. The ball yeah. goes into. You see on the left, there's a double plunger lane. Look, you just put the ball. You just put the ball in the second yeah. plunger lane over here. That thing drains all the time, man. It is. It's it's a little tough. It's a little tough. Yep. Little, but I mean, uh. I used to I used to think fish tails was impossible, but then once we played it for that week, I got real good at it, man. I can't wait to practice this table. Yeah, come check out our tournament. Drop a high score on our leaderboard. We'll give you a shout out next Thursday on our stream, which starts 10 p.m. Eastern every Thursday on arcade time. So hopefully we'll see you in a game. Well, there you go. Oh shoot. Oh I am up. I was thinking I had it up on Steam already. <laughs> So there you go, whirlwind, man. It's gonna be a fun week. Hopefully, I get a little better at it. Because right now, man, I'm not very good. That's okay. It's all fun. Yeah, it's tough, man. It wants to drain all the time over there. Yeah, if you Crazy. think that's a drainer, play any of the Black Knight, uh, Black Knight or Black Knight 2000. Then you'll really oh, yeah. start. Yeah, uh, those, <laughs> those, will, those will make you cry. Yeah, those are, those are truly. But the Williams machines, if you play them enough, they get you get better at them. I agree. You learn how to, you learn how to kind of play them. Bring it up. You pulling up the leaderboard? Yeah, do that real quick. You're just putting a score. Move. Okay. Wasn't that many people in there, but one at least. So you see some people in there. Last time I looked, there was like five. Oh, okay. Oh, you're in there. Yeah, we got nine now, huh? Hey, I'm in last place. <laughs> Congratulations, T. McCloskey. You're in dead last. <laughs> there was some people be below me. They must have put their scores up. Know, there you I go. I'm that. number nine. Yeah, check out girl. We got Metal Soso. Oh, Metal Soso's in there. Nice. You got me at six. You got Sack Pin Player, five. I'm used to death. That's Gregory at fourth. So I got about at least double my score to get into Gregory's category. Yeah. Real Creamer, six six million. DNZ, seven million. Kadash, yeah, Kadash is in the Kadash yeah, with the with the Elvira with the Elvira uh, yep. picture is in number one. Kadash is killing it. Fifteen million so far. Damn, I had a hard time, man, getting them. Up to yeah, two million, like like we're a little we're a pit, piddly two million, and they're getting fifteen million too. <laughs> I know they obviously yeah. know how to survive the storm better than us. Yep. <laughs> yeah, I never survived the storm. I haven't yet, man. <laughs> Not the big storm, anyways. Hey, Kadash, welcome to the stream. Kadash, uh, gotta represent. <laughs> hey, there he is.
So oh, the uh, the claw machine story is coming up in the chat, Team McCloskey. The claw machine. Like I said, they need to do a dual um, partnership like they did with the Midway Golden T tab cab, and they need to do a claw machine X Dragon's Lair cab. There you go. <laughs> do people really want a claw machine, though. You guys Not want a claw me. machine? I don't. I don't want one. I would have any use for. But I mean, some people might want that. You know, if you had kids, maybe. Yeah. All yeah. I do is open the side and grab the toys. I don't have to yeah. use the claw. <laughs> That's true. When you got the keys. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I remember, like they would jam those toys in there, where like there was no way you were even if you grabbed it, you could not even pull it out. They like stuff them in there. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah, they interlock them too. Yeah. There, there's always one you can get. It's one you don't want, but you can. Uh, there's always one you can get on the very top. My sister told me that secret a long time ago. Oh. You okay. Can't be picky. Can't be picky because there's always one or two that you uh, can get. Yeah, I it's think not, that I'm more excited about the new wave toys uh, uh, ski ball machine. Yeah. I think that's going to be more fun. Yeah, that'd be more fun. Yeah. In a post. Okay. It's a tournament we just completed. Of course, we're talking about Chucky. Team McCloskey, this uh, this got me a limited ad. It got striked for a limited, uh, un inappropriate or whatever, where uh, no advertising. Wow. Yeah, I wonder why. I didn't get anything. I did. Like every every time I put anything Chucky up, it would it would hit me with a uh, like <laughs> inappropriate for YouTube. Huh. I was just like, I don't know why. Yeah, because mine mine were fine. But yours right. were fine. I don't know. It's something... weird. Yeah. Do you, do you play something extra in it or anything? No. No. I, 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 I said the gameplay. Yeah, it's so weird. And I'm monetized now. So and I'm I think you know what video. it is because I named it Chucky's Killer Pinball. Did you name it Chucker's, Chucky's Killer Pinball? Uh, might have just Maybe said because Chucky's. it has the word killer in it. It was hitting the YouTube algorithm as a as a. Uh, something in, uh, that it wasn't. I don't know. That dang, I hate that dang algorithm. I'll tell you. I don't know what happened. Yeah, I don't know what happened, but I got the, I got the, uh, so I got the, uh, the inappropriate uh, thing for it for doing mm -hmm. the Chucky stuff. But I don't care. I do a lot of shorts. No, I yes. called it. Chucky. I called it Chucky's Killer Pinball. Well, I don't know. It hit me up, but it hit you up. I don't know. Selective. Yeah. Now, it's probably it's now. random. It really is random. It does seem random. It does seem yeah. random. Yeah, because I didn't get it. So. It's like a robot or something. All right, guys. Here is we had what twenty six. See, we do the best on uh, pinball FX tables. We had twenty six. Yeah, pinball. Games. Pinball M is kind of. I mean, it's kind of a you know because these tables are so. Uh, you know, the horror tables. I love playing them, but I mean, you're just not going to get as many people playing. 26 is not bad though for a pinball. 26 man. isn't bad, but like, like we know everyone, there's T Punk. Yep. Didn't quite make, make 1 million. Old Powder Days. Goofy Foot. High scores on tap. Got Coach got put in a score. Got 3.4. Look at that. There's Papa Brad's, Brad's Gaming. Beat Coach. Man, just. Just barely. By a, by, by a thread. By a thread. Look at that. 300,000. That's on your PS4, right? That's on my PS4. Yeah. It's flipped, Team McCloskey. I think my scores are going to be better now on the um, real pinball. I think on so, the, too. On um, 4KP. I think so I flipped it. It finally <laughs> flipped. I can, never, I can never match my console scores up till I got this new computer. Got Kermit the Frog, 31. Got 4.7 million. Place. 20th place, Inky's owner, Carl O. Good to see you, Carl O. Top 20 player of Chucky's Killer Pinball. Number 19, Disturbed 76. 21 million. That's somebody was in the chat earlier. They said they were Disturbed 76. I can't okay, remember. awesome. And somebody in the Thank chat you earlier. For playing. Yep. 18th place, Bruno. 22.3 million. 17th place, we got Herb Wars, one of my co hosts on the Evercadians. Good to see Herb Wars in the tournament. Dan's a foot. Dan's That's a foot. Good. Danny Johnston. Danny Johnson. Awesome. Good score. Wow, Top 16. Bump. 
up 16. Man, hey, look at that. Look, look, look at that. T. McCloskey. Yeah, look at the team. T. Woo. McCloskey snuck right by Dan's a foot. Top 15, yes, T. McCloskey. Don't, don't get the big head. Now you got a 1,000 subscribers in your 15th place. <laughs> don't let that head get too big. And I did beat Dan. Congratulations for 15th place, T. McCloskey. Thanks, thanks. I was happy with that score. Dean Holcroft in 14th. I like name is in every Rudy, tournament Rudy. we do. Yep. He's in every tournament we've played, I think. He's playing every time. We got sack pin player. 13th place. Yeah. 44 million. Hey, there's score. Metal Soso. Metal Soso also was in the chat. Got a good score with 12th wow. place. 53 million. 11th place. Is that DNZ? That's That's DNZ. DNZ, 11th place. Yeah. Look what you got. Top 10. Top, Top 10, 10 score for Papa Brad with 57 million on on pin on the pinball. Playing playing on the uh 4KP OTG. Dang. Nice, man. Good score. Man. As I said, look at the difference. Now I can get the higher scores in the pinball. I can't believe it. I never could get match my score on console. Yeah, but now I can. So so that's uh, cool OTG then. Yeah, that's OTG uh cool. playing Zen Pinball. Yeah. Uh we got uh MF Doom 79, ninth place. Look at that score, 89 million. Okay, we're swimming with the sharks now. Yeah, when I got the 57 Whoa. million, I was like, I looked at the next score, I was like, that's probably not gonna happen. Because <laughs> <laughs> that, that was one. a really I felt like that was a really good game for me, T McCloskey. It that is I wish I hit 57 million. Man, look at the eighth. Out. Look at eighth, man. Damn. Hey, I gotta We're pop out. Fast. I gotta pop out and pop back in. Take over for a minute. My camera went out. All right. Uh 2 D D Leon. Eighth place at 219 million. Wow. Oof. Georgia Peach at seventh with 320 million. Wow. That's somebody's wife. I can't remember whose wife that is. Um, Gregory. Amused to death, the sixth at 393.3 million. Kadash, top five, 404.9 million. Ooh. And these, these scores are going up fast. BGB. <laughs> Man. Whoa, another big one. Is that Drakey Barks, number four, 530 million. Jeez. Dang. You're going up fast. Fader, 64. One billion. Oh my gosh! <laughs> Number three. That's insane. How'd you guys get these scores, man? That is crazy, man. Number two, sick RB, two point one billion. Wow, man, you, that's Vader. Insane. Okay, Georgia Peach is Vader's wife. Okay, cool. I knew it was somebody in the chat's wife. Awesome. And your wife's are pretty good too, Vader. Man, Vader, you thought with one million or one billion, you would thought you would have been uh, number one. And number one is the real creamer, two point nine billion, almost hit three billion at number one. Wow! Congrats, man! Almost three billion. Dang, guys! You that guys crushed crazy. the Chucky Killer Pinball. <laughs> Kadash said, "Great scores, everyone." Hey, yeah, I never thought I never thought the scores would go that high. Wow! I didn't think it was a um, easy table either. Wasn't easy for me, uh, video game Vegas. <laughs> oh <laughs> yeah, I, that, I I haven't played it yet because I don't own. Well, I technically have Pinball M, but I only have the free table. I haven't bought any tables on it yet. If they ever go on sale, well, they'll go on sale, especially on uh, Steam. Man, they'll go like half price. I mean, well, um, it's crazy. My my machine is is a beast. Um, it's an i nine and has. 64 gigs of ram and has a really great video card but the problem is is that pinball fx is just it's it's resource hungry i can't play it like 4k 60 frames per second with everything on so yeah but i'm, I'm been picking up these uh, zen studio uh, packs when they go on sale because i mean on steam i know that like 80 percent off 85 percent off that's so the playing. crazy thing I owned them all on the HD, I mean, the, the Pinball FX3, and one Steam sale, I was able to pick up every Pinball FX table pack um, for um, under $80. Oh, I can believe it. It was yeah. insane. 
Yeah, and so that's how I got them. But Pinball FX, of course, um, 3 didn't have the Pinball M table, so I didn't get any discounts there. Yeah, I, I'm not sure when the next sale come out. I think we'll have at least two more this year. We'll have one somewhere around October. And then the oh, other yeah. One, the fall Christmas. sale and the, the Christmas, yep. Yeah. So I'll be picking and up And they're always more. good. Yeah, I mean, some of those tables I picked up was a dollar nine. you know? It's like... Yeah, how can you man. how can you go wrong with a buck? You know exactly. Unless you're talking My Little Pony, and no, I'm just kidding. I'm playing with you. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't really care for that one that much. So sorry. Right. Trolls is actually pretty fun too. I was uh, shocked that I liked the Trolls one. Garfield, I knew I was going to like Garfield, but Trolls, I was kind of the whole pack, the DreamWork pack from Zen is actually pretty good. All three of those tables are pretty good. Yeah, yeah. The the nice thing about the the Zen tables though is that they do keep optimizing it on PC. So eventually yeah. I'll be able to play with all the bells and whistles. Right now I bring it down to about um 2 2K and then I um I I can run it at 60 frames per second. Okay. Yeah, I think they're having uh, on August 29th and they dropped their two new tables. Um, I think they're doing some. Oh, uh, yes. Oh, man, I want to play those so bad. Uh, Go Goat Simulator, I love the actual game, uh, but Princess Bride is just going to be fantastic. Yeah, it looks like it's going to be a lot of fun. Oh, both man, of both those tables. Yeah, both those tables are winners to me. Yeah, August 29th, and they're going to do an update, too. They're going to do some opposition, I think, on August 29th. I yeah, think my, dream, my dream is that if they do figure out the lag situation and everything on 4KP, um, I would love to see um, Zen just bring every single table over um, that they have. Um, if if everything is, is working great, I'd love to see them bring them all over because I think that the way to play, as Papa Rad was saying, is is on the actual uh, an actual pinball machine. table. Yep. Yeah, there's no. It's just it's so much more fun on a pinball machine than it is oh, yeah. on your on your computer playing with a controller or a yeah, keyboard. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Well, I was blown away when I first played. Uh, Zen was on. I believe it was uh, the Xbox 360, and uh, I couldn't believe the cool vibrations. I was like, this feels like pinball. Yeah. But man, once you actually get to play on a V pin with the actual flipper buttons and everything. I just can't go back. <laughs> I know. And the SSF kit they added to this 4K man is really good. That's the crazy thing. Um, when when Zen couldn't I'm figure back. out the a hey, hey, yeah, when, when when Zen couldn't figure out the 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 sound um, between the two um, uh, major players on the HD. I, that's why I didn't buy the SSF kit because I just didn't trust that they could do the sound correctly. So that's the reason I skipped out. And then after mm -hmm. seeing Papa Bragg going, you know what, you need to get this SSF kit uh, professionally installed because, yeah, it's doable, but. <laughs> yeah, all you need is a screwdriver now. All you need it's is a screwdriver. Need. That's all, all you need. need. That is all you need. <laughs> and a full afternoon. <laughs> but, uh, clear your schedule for that whole afternoon at least. <laughs> oh, Pub Red didn't get to see the insane. I don't know. Did you watch any of the video? The insane scores on this Chucky? No, I didn't get to see it, but I'm sure I saw they were, I saw the they were insane. Look at that in the billions. Yeah, that's just crazy. <laughs> Almost three million or a billion. Yeah, our, our top three, our top three players, man. They were they were going at it. I mean, that's when you get to true wizard mode because look, that's not even <laughs> close. It's not <laughs> even close. Boat. Like we're we're not even in the ballpark of being close to them. I thought but, I had an uh, okay score too. <laughs> uh, shout out to shout out to Vader and the real Kramer, man. They brought the heat. I mean, they brought the heat <laughs> in this tournament. Damn. They were never not thought, playing. Never thought I would see somebody hit almost three billion. They were friends oh, to the end. <laughs> yeah, but we, you know, the, the pinball am was fun to do. We don't get the turnout though for the pinball M is the only bad thing. No, it was still fun to play. It was a great. This is one of the better tables in pinball M too. Yeah, Good variety. Yeah, yeah. I don't know why this screen ended up being black. It's weird. 
Yeah, I wish they would do some other things, maybe like uh, like some uh, kung fu movies. Like, can you imagine if they did a Bruce Lee, Pinball M, Enter the Dragon? Yeah, I saw that, Jason. I don't know why it was a black screen. So weird. Oh yeah, the, the one of my uh, favorite uh, Zachariah tables is Black Belt. Uh, the, the especially yeah. with the rotating thing in the middle. That's just awesome. It's amazing to me. How is there not a Bruce Lee pinball? I mean, like that. That's like would be so amazing. I mean, you could do all kinds of stuff. Or a Jackie Chan pinball would be. Cool or even too. Jackie Chan. Any, yeah. any kind yeah. of any kind of like real kung fu. Um, Kung Fu pinball. I mean, that, that's a de- totally a, a market no one has tapped. Yeah, Kung Fu Panda does not count. Yeah, Jackie Chan did have a cool arcade game. It's actually pretty fun. Oh, yes. Has his big head. <laughs> Jason said Chuck Norris table? Chuck Norris would be cool, too. I like that. Yeah, I, I think to me, Enter the Dragon, man, would be like, you know. Uh, someone should do it. I don't care if it's virtual pinball or real pinball, but I mean, there should be a, there should be a good martial arts pinball machine. I can't believe there's never, there's never been one. Yeah. Yeah. See, whoever gets that man, even Zen, if they got something like that, man, that's going to be a winner, man. I mean, that would be a huge hit. I would think. I would think so. I mean, it's just a category. It's untapped, you know, especially, you know, like our age and stuff. I would love that. Either one of them, you know, Chuck Norris or um, Jackie Chan or any of those would probably do well. But yeah, I'm surprised there's never been one. I'm crazy. Yeah, I don't know if I'd want to see a Jackie Chan with uh, City Hunter, though, where he's dressed up like Chun Li, but. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're. We're slowly getting to the Zen tables on that games, uh, four K. Mm-hmm. And you know, oh, Zen yeah. says, Zen, Zen says, Iron sharpens Iron Man. They want the whole library on that games. Yeah, games. Zen wants to bring it all. I think that's why they want to get the flipper lag fixed so bad because yeah. they want to have everybody yeah. get that great experience and, <clears throat> and put all the tables on there. Once they get that flipper lag fixed, I think we're going to see a lot more tables. The Game of Death, play. yeah, that's another good Bruce Lee movie. I still need to see a Hellraiser uh, movie uh, game, uh, a pinball game in Pinball there's, M. There's one. That would uh, be cool. Hellraiser. Hellraiser. Hellraiser, yeah. Yeah. VPX has one. Yeah, VPX. Oh, VPX does, yeah. But yeah. I'm talking a full um, Pinball M t- encompassing all the movies. And, oh, man, that would just be amazing. Or have one for each movie. I mean, <laughs> i like you to see could, one for you each could. one. Well, yeah. some of those movies, direct to video, weren't as good, but <laughs> no, nah. the first three were really good. Oh yeah, um, I watched all three of those. Um, There's so I, much they could do with pinball M, even if they just stuck with horror. I mean, can you imagine like a Puppet Master pinball? Yeah. Oh my god. From Full Moon Studios, remember the Puppet Master movies? The third one was the best with the they Gunslinger. Could do, they could do some crazy stuff, man. Yeah. Yeah. If I was to see, if I got my wish with the next Pinball M table, it would be the Crow with Brandon Lee. Oh, that'd be cool. Oh, man, yeah. man. Yeah, it's just, it's mm-hmm. such an iconic film. Yeah, that's the cool thing about that Pinball M. They could do a lot of dark stuff on there. Yeah. I edit it. Yeah, there's so much stuff they could do with that. All those different movies out there. I mean... Yeah, there's so many horror movies. I know one that Papa Brad would love to see, and that would be a um, a Universal Monsters, uh, like a classic, maybe even a black and white table. Oh, yeah, that would be cool. Ooh, a black and white table would be cool. Totally different. Yeah. Totally unique. Yeah. Yeah, Candyman. Oh, Candyman's so, a great one. Yeah. Friday the 13th. Halloween. Yeah, they don't have a Halloween. They don't have a Friday the 13th. There's all kinds of stuff they could do. Oh, yeah. If they did Halloween, though, they'd have to do um, just Halloween 3 with the masks. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Mikey Yoon was uh, not a big fan of Chucky. Chucky was the worst for me as a kid. Yeah. I'm not a big fan of the movies, but I thought that the table looked cool. The table is cool. Yeah, the table's really fun. Yeah. 
Exorcist, Polargeist. And you're just so you just go on and on and on with the they can make for pinball. Oh yeah, you can pick. Yeah, that's that's the one thing about horror films. There's so many good ones. Oh, um, yeah, it's crazy. They don't even have Nightmare Before uh, Nightmare on Elm yeah. Street yet. Yeah, yeah, that's I mean, another, there's so many they could do. I mean, there's like they could do all there. kind of stuff. I mean, it's just like it's wide open, you know. Yep. Army yeah. of Darkness. Oh yeah, yeah. The, that could I, cool. I like. The they could probably film. get Bruce Campbell if they did that. I'm sure he's not Ooh, that expensive. That'd be awesome. Can you imagine yeah. if he did all the voice oh, shoutouts. Awesome. Oh that'd yeah, awesome. like they got the guy that does Duke Nukem to do all the Duke Nukem callouts. <laughs> that would yep. be cool. That would. They be could so totally cool. do that. Because yeah, he does video do the, games. Bruce Campbell's oh, yeah. been in, he's done a bunch of video games. Yes. Well, he did uh um he did stuff for the Dead by Daylight. Um they uh -huh. have his character in there. He did some oh, okay. stuff for that one. He even promoted yep. it. Mm -hmm. so that was pretty cool. Yeah, he could even do like pinball puns like good, bad, I'm the one with the ball. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I could totally see him doing that. <laughs> And Night of the Living Dead, The Shining. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's, it's endless. That's probably why they did it. <laughs> All right, guys. I don't have anything else. You guys have anything else? That's it, man. Uh, we want to thank Video Game Vegas for joining us for Arcade Talk. It was great to have them on the show. Awesome oh, having you. you guys. It was amazing. I appreciate it. We know you're going to stay wiggly on your channel. If you're not yes. subscribed, make sure you check out Video Game Vegas. He has an awesome channel. Mr. Pickles. Yeah, thank you so much. I, I really appreciate the opportunity. It's just great to be able to talk with you guys just uh, in a conversation and and instead of just in a chat. But you guys are really good about uh, uh, talking to people in the chat and stuff. So I've always appreciated that. That's the reason yeah, I watch you. live. Yeah, I try to – we try to get uh, everybody's opinion on there. Can't always get everybody, but – we try no. to yeah put the comments up and talk about it and you, you know everybody in the chat brings up you know really good stuff too so yeah they do they do they kind of steal the show it. yep yeah i mean and i appreciate the, all the feedback you guys give us mm -hmm. yeah in vegas thank you for your feedback as well and all the support oh. you give us. yeah oh yeah you guys are awesome and i mean it's easy to support uh people who really care about the community and and really want to just, I mean, you fostered such a great, great, uh, just good vibes uh, when when we come to your your videos, the the show, everything, and and it's just it's it's nice to be able to get away from the um, the some of the other stuff and and just really enjoy video games and and what we do. Yeah, that's what we're all about, man. Having fun with these machines we have, and you know, the computers with all the games on them. You're just yeah, we, we we have enough uh, real life all day long and all you know night long. Yeah, that. so I get away. <laughs> yeah, it's, yeah. it's nice to escape for a couple hours or four hours <laughs> <Yes>. sometimes. <laughs> yeah, you want, uh, you want you to escape, escape to for for you know a few minutes or four hours. <laughs> yeah, so it's kind of nice getting out here a little early tonight. <laughs> yeah, it is, man. This is this is a short one. Let's let's cut it off. We're at two minutes. We can almost hit two fifteen. Team Classic. We could be mm -hmm. at, a, at a at a good cutting point here. Yep. Thank you. Hit that like button. Subscribe to all three channels: Video Game Vegas, Team McCloskey's Arcade Talk, mm -hmm. Papa Brad's Gaming. I have a bunch of channels. Evercadians, Papa Brad Live. You all do something different too. Yeah. Yep. Yes. All three of us do something a little different. So, oh yeah. Awesome. So, uh, yeah. Thanks everybody in chat hanging out with us tonight. Really appreciate it. Um, thank you for all your support. Have a great weekend, everybody. And uh, stay safe out there. And thanks again, uh, Video Game Vegas, for coming on. Anytime. You need, you need to tell us to stay wiggly, uh, Video Game stay Vegas. Stay wiggly. Always stay wiggly. And there you go. And stay legit. Thanks for watching. Have a great night, everybody.
T. McCluskey presents Arcade Talk Live Stream. Tables to Atari, he's always in control. He's a master of retro and the old school styles of thing. With every flick of the joystick, you can hear the twang ting. Stay legit, pop a bread, keep the high school living. From the classic arcades to the Atkins pinball board. With the Atari 2600, your love for games will never quit. Stay true yourself, Papa Brad, and always stay legit. He's a lover of the classics, the sound of pixelated beats. Late nights at the arcade with every game defeat. But he'll keep on pushing. Till he's reached that final stage Papa Brad's the game in legend His passion never fades Baby legit Papa Brad Keep the high school open From the classic arcades To the at games pinball board With the Atari 2600 your love for games will never quit. Stay true to yourself, Papa Brad. And always stay legit. Welcome to Arcade Wars. Alright, real view. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I like that part a lot. 